Hi guys and welcome to part 3 of our Schmodown Spectacular 3 uh, reaction series. It has been a night. Uh, we actually all slept. Uh, we, need, we needed some rest. We need to get the alcohol out of our systems. Uh, so that's why we look a little different. Uh, I am as usual your host Case Cornelius is still joined by Chris Doman and Irina. Uh, we have two title matches in the last video and apparently a very important announcement regarding Schmoda next year, um, which I'm very much looking forward to, of course. First, I'll just ask Chris, your thoughts on uh, Spectacular so far and on this video? <laughs> I mean, so far I'm pretty happy. I mean, I it, not every match went, went the way that I was hoping, but True. what... What happened as a result of said matches not going my the way that I had hoped? Well, I think there's some fun twists for the future. And plus, the, some of the storylines that are now done and over with, I'm glad it's going to stay that way as long as I get my wish in this video. Which is? Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Corruption. <laughs> oh. Bye-bye. <coughs> Well, uh, I disagree with you on that one, uh, but anyway, uh, Irina, you're here. Uh, yeah. Your thoughts on this video and what we're about to see? Um, well, so far every match has been great, uh, and uh, I, I mean, I mean that it wasn't a TKO or a KO. It has been well, we've... except for Wolf Merle. <laughs> uh, I mean, but so. we've been. Ah, it doesn't. It's okay. It's <laughs> not a KO. And we've been on the edge of our seats the whole time. I think this one is going to be even more exciting. I don't know what's going to happen, <laughs> but it's, it's it's definitely going to be great. Five pointers all around and just oh, amazing. Oh, definitely. has yes. to happen. Um, yeah, uh, no, no drinking game today, uh, but we're still going to do uh, predictions. So, uh, yes. Chris, Inner Geekdom, you have Mara? Yeah. You have you have Mike. I think Mara will win, but I'm oh. hoping for Mike. <laughs> okay, I actually I actually uh, have uh, said this for a while. I think Mike will win. Um, Good. Because I already thought okay. he should have won against Mara the first time, um, <laughs> and he'll win. Yes. Uh, he'll get the belt today. Um, and then a uh, singles title match. Uh, Chris, do you want to call it <laughs> <laughs> the Outlaw? John Roca. So we get Merle Roca three <laughs> because we all want it. Yeah. <laughs> Rina, Irwin, um, or Roca? I think Irwin, but okay. I'll be happy either way. I uh, I think I'll be happy either Both way. Both are great. They are. Um, yeah, I I think Irwin as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's time for our seventh uh, singles champ. However, I would not at all be surprised if uh, if Roca wins it. Anyway, yeah. that's enough speculation and thoughts. We are just going to play this thing. Guys, three, two, one, play. Ah. Did you use the hashtag? I did use the hashtag, actually. <laughs> oh, I just remembered the end of video one. Oh, actually, uh, oh my no, god. No, no, I don't want to. Don't even... Oh, you dick! Bastard. I mean, to be fair, you still have AMA and you still have uh, the action right. guys. Oh, we do. Uh -oh. We do. I know. Over on Collider Video every Friday, check it out. That's true. That's true. But... I, and, and I do love that show. It's actually really good. They're, they're really good. Together. Well, doing uh, shows together, yep. stuff together for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> they vibe. What a long day. Such a long day. Lots of coffee. Yeah. Well, that. you know, Snowdown Spectacular 3, the longest, best <coughs> match ever. Five matches. Six. Six. So well, I mean, I don't know. That Finstock match, the championship bowl, I don't know if that counts as a match. Speaking. What the? What are you oh doing here? I'm looking for my mask, okay? Why would it be in here? Because I'm leaving no stone unturned, okay? I don't know who took it. 
Now you saw what happened in those matches today. I need my mask. <coughs> Man, get out of the car. So it's not I, here. It's not here. No. Does it, does it look like it's here? Oh, I checked. Why would we I take your mask? Box and stuff. Well, I had your keys to your car earlier, so I was in here. But now I need a ride. So can you just drop me in the club over here? No, right. get out. Come on, come on. Get out of the car, Prince Stop. We've done this before. <laughs> no, he stole cow. I'll get you guys in. Don't worry. Uh, we'll surpass the whole one. I didn't steal cow. Kalinowski stole cow. Cal, Kalinowski, same thing. <laughs> Come on, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay, All right. fine. <laughs> so we're talking, you, you're talking about uh, <sighs> five-way. Yeah, yeah, an interdictum? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five-way five -way match? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, we're going to do things a little different. We're going to do uh, a tournament. It's going to be an Inner Geekdom Tournament. I'm here with a little bit of an update regarding the Inner Geekdom Tournament. Mike Kalinowski, the beautiful Mike Kalinowski, is facing off against Jared Haben. <laughs> and also, Koi Jandrew is facing off against the amazing Mara Kanopic, a newcomer in the Schmodown League. It's fun. It's going to be fine. You're doing great. You're doing great. I really don't think this is a good idea, Mike. doesn't matter what you think, does it? <laughs> I hate this so much. Our rookie here today, the amazing Mara Kanaka. <coughs> I don't think anyone should just overlook her in this oh, moment no. here. Star Trek Into Darkness. That's correct. Maria Doc, Brandy Buck, Shmi. Two, one. Roseanne. And your winner, the amazing Mara I feel like we found a new female superstar here. I would be willing to accept the moniker of the Brown Dwarf Star. Hey. How you doing? No one knew who you were, and now they do, because of me. Thank you. I'm do you just have that comment? Give me an opportunity to become a superstar. I probably do. You keep on winning. I'm, gonna I'm not sure on. though. It does look really familiar. Does. Just one, one course correction there. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> Brown dwarf star. <laughs> Denethor, Benjamin Bratt, Stormtrooper. Oh my god. Nothing? No. That's and funny. your winner! 2-0, two, oh, two knockouts to start. And now she's gonna have the biggest match of her career. Uh, oh, okay. that, that was good. The sick fight. Sebulba, oh man. Sebulba, Rosemary, that was really Jennifer, rough to Jennifer, just watch because they were both so. I felt so bad. Solo, Mr. Blue, 1983. Match of the year. Oh. Text. I literally put the same thing. That's great, Uh huh. is in the finals. That was a great match. I just want to say, excuse me here. That was a great match. That was fantastic. You did great there. I was gonna say. Remember what I said earlier? You keep winning. And I'll keep winning. <coughs> we'll see what happens. He is Mike the Killer Kalanowski! Fallout! Fallout! Yeah. <laughs> Known as the Killer, the head of corruption, the agent of chaos in the movie trivia Schmodown, please welcome Mike Kalanowski! <coughs> New kind of blank based gas. Five, four. Hydrogen, the destroyer. I'm gonna enjoy being at that live event. Two thousand. And your winner. <laughs> <laughs> this editing is really. That editing is so awesome. Wow. It's, it pumps you up so bad. New facing, Mara. She held up her end of the bargain. As did I. I created a monster and I've got a facer because I'm a man of my word. I've created this entire tournament, giving you some of the best matches you've all ever seen. For that belt. <laughs> Chris, looking for your whiteboard? <laughs> yeah! Bones, Dr. Points all around here. The cross of Coronado. That is correct! Mike Kalinowski, question. Yeah. Name oh, no. this, this, no, this question. Okay. That Tony Stark utilizes in his lab, as mentioned in the Iron Man solo films and in Homecoming. Five. Is it Laurel and Hardy? Four. And oh, you're Are you winner! Are you shitting me? A after rewatching the movies, yeah. um, <laughs> the name of the arms are indeed on there. He does mention them. We'll be facing each other again. She mouths it's to him. That was a tough for. question at the end. Yeah. <laughs> we are here for the movie series Mowdown Live event of the Inner Kingdom Championship. This
this is Jason Inman. You know his inner geekdom prowess. And then one of the newest, <coughs> one of the freshest, and one of the best stars that I can say we've ever had in inner geekdom. Mara is the competitor that I have been wishing for. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmoda. Daphne Keen. Daphne Keen. Jack Bauer. Jack Bauer, 24. Movie release dates. Movie release dates. Wow. 2005, Fuck. 1993, 1984, 1987, 2013. Correct. For two points. Wow. What a round for the amazing Mara That was goddamn impressive. Alerts. Bold. That's correct. Five pointer. When Gandalf enters Bilbo's house at the start of Fellowship. That was also Bilbo a deep says he's cut. Got a few bottles of which type of wine left? Mara, Five, whatever happens, four, you did well though. I'm going to say two, Brandy Buck. And your winner! And the I miss him then. Movie Trivia Schmodown! Inner Geek the Champion! Mara Kanabe! I want whoever beats me to be someone that is even. What? Duh. That moment was awesome. Uh-huh. Imagine being there. Is it done? Is it over? It's over when I say it's over. Mara, come on up here, Mara. Come on up here, Mara. I should have been on the stage tonight. We're not doing that four-way. We're not doing a three-way. We're not going to do any number one contender match. Guess what we're going to do? You and I, spectacular for that belt. You and Kalinowski are at the spectacular. If he wants to manipulate the system, I will just beat him again and we can end the argument. So, Chairman Harloff, why would you allow us in the first place? It's because of scheduling. It, apparently, Inman couldn't do a number one contender match. Rachel also wasn't able to do it for some reason. Fair enough. So, then it was, well. I don't mind. Mike is the only one. And to be I fair, do mine, ba ba that's all right. Look, ba ba based on their first match, this is going to be a great match yep. anyway. Yep. Whoever wins. I just wonder what about the contract that everyone signed? Petition. Petition. I'm still wondering what about the droid attack on the Wookiees, but I'm also not getting an answer about that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, same. <laughs> same. No, you Star Wars guys. Welcome back to the no, Hello. Hello. Spectacular. It's video three, it's the last video, and these two matches could be main events all on their own anywhere. Yep. And we've got them here in this video, Mark. What's going on? Christian, my nickname is Sko. There it is, baby. Karen By the way, their suit game is on point. So on point. So happening right now. Giving out <laughs> gifts all around the movie trivia galaxy because four matches are in the books. <coughs> they were fantastic. A lot of stuff happening behind the scenes here as well yeah. as on like the, the desk. My least favorite was Merle Wolf because it didn't go to the last round. For the kids. Um, or at least video, for, video three, the for Merle. Two matches but of the, the other matches, holy three. crap. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're going to see who's going to New York, but before we get to that, we are going to see who the new or the reigning continuing Inner Geekdom champion is going to be. Well, and if you watched right before this happened, Mike Kalinowski's reign is done. It's over. The stuff that he's been trying to do this Thank season, you. you're welcome. Thanks. It's come to an end. He also, maybe he got a little too out of control, and that's partially on me. Yeah. But the thing yeah. is, one of those things that he did was give himself a title shot. Now. What also needs to be said is that Mike Kalinowski earned his way in the tournament that he created, but sure. he he made his way through that tournament <coughs> and he looked dominant doing it. That he is true. also put I Mark can't argue that. in the tournament, and that was a crucial error because she was phenomenal. She is amazing, hence mm -hmm. her nickname. She won four matches, and in that final, that fourth match, it was against Mike Kalinowski. They went back and forth, back and forth, and Mara Kanopic took the victory, won the tournament, and beat Mike Kalinowski. She went on to beat Jason Inman at the live event for the championship, and that's when Mike Kalinowski snapped. He went, he crashed the live event, and ab started to abuse his power, went from saying doing good things and helping execute the plan in regards to anarchy and the and the tournament 
but when he started giving himself title shots, Ken Knapps got title shots, enough was enough. So I told him today, because I don't think it's fair that he gave himself this title uh, shot. No, it's not. But the thing is, if he happens to win today, there's an immediate rematch, and Mark oh. Kanopic will play in New York as well against oh. Mike Kalinowski. However, mm. if Mark Kanopic retains, then we'll have a completely different card, and it oh. is time for these two to go head to head. I'm very excited about it. Yeah, you see that, Thad? You see so that, we'll Kalinowski? Get... That's a, it, the Commissioner Nate. That's a chairman right there. Three the chairman of the board, Frank Sinatra. If Mike wins, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kalinowski, maybe Peter Lowry at best. But it's we're like here Patriots. not to talk about some of the great from the Rat Pack. Area. Patriots and about the line, yeah. Inner geekdom stuff. I don't know that there's two people <coughs> on earth. Maybe I think of a few off the top of my head that know it better than Mike Kalinowski, and certainly none so far this year better than Mark and Oppen. Right. So we are going to hear from both our competitors. Here we go. Hate to say it, but if she wins, she's an. I mean, shoe what in. better place to do this than at a oh, place yeah. that is synonymous with being amazing? So it's going to be a fun ride. I would be optimistic and say that I know a trivia or two, and you know, this isn't Mike's game anymore. This is my game. So if it's going to have to happen, I'm going to play by the rules. But this is done and over. Corruption is finished and interdicted. Hello, sheep. You're on. <laughs> Spectacular. The... Going for the Inner Geekdom Championship belt from the beginning where I should have Dance, brother. Dance. You know what? People are saying, you know, I, I got to put this out there. Mara deserves that belt that she's holding right now. She did what I told her to do. I gave her the shot and she took it. I'm so proud of her. I could not be more proud of what Mara has done in this league. And you know what? She beat me fair and square. Five rounds. I beat her four of those rounds to the fifth round and she did what she did. She beat me. She has my respect. It's been hmm. a meteoric rise um, for this brown dwarf star. So Chris speak. is not buying uh, a single word yeah. he's saying. <laughs> and uh, I would like to think that going 5-0 and undefeated will certainly put me in the <coughs> Schmodown leagues of history, but having the first female singles champion defend the title successfully and be 6-0 and undefeated in the season, going into the next year, just thinking, let's just see the next new person. Who's it going to be? I want to see the next me. I think that's a great place to end my year. It's a... It's like a late Hanukkah gift. Let's talk about respect for a minute. Something you sheep have still not given me. But you're gonna give it to me when I take that belt. I'm gonna take this match from Mara. She's done great so far. <coughs> that belt is with her pretty soon. It's gonna be right here on my shoulder. Yes. What's up? Um, I got plenty of sleep last night. I'm well hydrated. <coughs> uh, I've eaten calories. And I think that this is going to be a fun match. Please don't be surprised if I show talent. Uh, please don't be surprised if you cry tears. It's going to be super fun. What? You? I don't want to talk about Polly. I'm not going to talk about Polly G. What? We, we, no, we're not talking about Polly G. You Let's wanna, do it. You want to know about Polly G? You think he's pulling the strings? And you know, I'm not talking about Polly G. You, you want to know who's pulling strings? I'm still pulling strings, and you guys are going to see when that championship belt is on this shoulder, Polly G. <laughs> okay. Look, obviously, Mike Kalinowski is heated. He is mad. He's <coughs> blaming the fans. He's blaming me. He's blaming everybody. And you know, and we, and we know he's not going to get a nice reaction from the fans. We know he's not going to when, when he comes out here. He doesn't care anymore. He Cam just now. wants that championship. The question is, <laughs> is it going to be like Gollum for him? Is it going to be his downfall, or is he going to be able to focus? But the other question. I hope is, he's got more clothes. But the other Gollum. question is Mark Anopic, who is five and zero. Oh. That'd be interesting. That is a big feat all in itself to go six and zero oh with a title <clears> defense. It is something that we've never seen before and it's a lot to ask of one player so we're gonna see what's gonna happen here and this is a big stage for the two of them ready to look at it here are some of the notable accomplishments from both Mike Kalinowski had two knockouts in the inner geekdom tournament he had victories over Lavic and Donica he created the tournament Mara has victories over <coughs> Cushing Kalinowski and Jason Inman she's the first rookie to go 5-0 and and win the title and she is the inner geekdom tournament winner so with that being yep. said how about you? Oh, yeah, I was I, I, I could do this literally all day. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Disney movie Ellis. trivia showdown. Alice's energy. Non-stop. It's uh, five rounds. Four. Oh, I, I can guarantee you af after the after party, he probably got home and world. crashed on his couch. Introducing <laughs> first the challenger representing Corruption with a record. Three wins, three defeats, and two knockouts. He is the 2018 Inner Geekdom Tournament finalist. 
Mike the Killer Oh, the suit. Yes. Suit game is on point. <laughs> Hey, Ellis, mm. Harlow, you know, Mike. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, there's the puppetry. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just the thing. Why are you worried about me? Why, why are you worried about me? To focus on your match. I, I would like to point out to Mike Kalinowski, I in fact am taking time out from the Chuckle Hut to right. be here today. So you're so worried about me when you should be worried about. I no clue. That's definitely my own man. Missing pay from the Chuckle Hut because I'm here right now. That's fine. <laughs> and his opponent. Yes. Of five and this is always why Mara needs to win. This is a great theme. Oh, I'm period. Oh, yeah. it's gonna get stuck in my head again. And the reigning, yeah, defending, maybe. undefeated, undisputed, inner geekdom champion of the world, the amazing. Come help me, Obi Wan, <laughs> and the fighter, and the blaster. <laughs> <laughs> it's a unicorn onesie. It's amazing. <laughs> oh God! Showing the champion respect. That's right. She's gonna place the belt. I want that one. Best she can. It's such a heavy belt. It's gonna. I want that suit on you and that onesie on me. <laughs> ah, still so bad. You may say a Greedo. <laughs> oh, John right, so Marone! Mark Canopic, the champion. Five rounds for the Inner Geekdom Championship of the World, and we are going to start getting into the rules of right. the said match. Mark, how's it going? No, that's a bummer because I Coffee. really like that Indiana Jones do music. Too. But we do have a match to play, and it is five rounds long. In round one, it's going to be like a normal Inner Geekdom match. You're going to have questions <coughs> that come from ten different parts of the Inner Geekdom movie trivia schmodown galaxy each question is worth one point there's no penalty for missing a question there is no stealing luck, in Chris. round one as soon as we ask Chris. a question please write Thank down your best you. attempt at an answer Thank on you. the whiteboard that we have so kindly provided break. for you you have about 15 yeah. seconds like i said oh, to do so when we ask you by name to reveal your answer please show what you wrote down uh, to done. your camera at the same time you Hold verbalize up. your uh, attempt of an answer into the microphone in keep in specifically mind three them. usages of the jte rule throughout the duration of the match if you're not sure you heard a question right you need to buy yourself some time or you just want it repeated use a jte don't worry, you Case, you will definitely be better than me. Used, and by the way, keep in mind, uh, I rewound the tape from last night. We tied in round one for Star Wars. Wars. So. Right, Wait, that said, the champion, are you ready? The uh, quote, the quote was, terror, not violence. <laughs> oh, damn it. The challenger, are you ready? I'm ready. Then let's get ready <clears> to <throat> show Yeah! Here we go. All right. <clears throat> Question one in the realm of Marvel. Marvel. Who plays the villainous Carlton Drake in Venom? <laughs> uh, any of the uh, comic We are literally there? basically looking at him right, right now. Yeah. Five, my, uh, my Venom issue. Four. You have issues. Three. <laughs> two. I thought we were having. I problems. almost wrote down. I almost wrote down Bodhi Rourke, and then I was like, wait, that's the character in Rogue One. <laughs> I think for future reference, why I didn't spell it right. So, we move on to. And your question is, in the two towers, what does Gollum warn Frodo and Sam not to follow in the Dead Marshes? Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I saw this in the theater. It was five. That's four, right. And three. Mm -hmm. two, oh! I don't know trivia. One points down. <laughs> don't Mike follow. Don't follow. Don't follow. Don't follow. Correct, Mara? Light. Light. That's correct. Mara Kanapa goes up by one. Two, one. Gollum is hard to understand. Yeah. Question three. Star Trek. In what film are Lieutenant Commander Jordy LaForge's eyes briefly oh. healed so that he doesn't need to wear his ocular implants? The guy from uh, Reading Rainbow. Five. Right. Four. Three. This movie is not good. Two. One. No, it's Insurrection. 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 Yes, it is. Oh. Mike. I didn't get a Star Trek generation. I was in the wrong generation. Right, I said search for Star Trek. Oh. All right, so it, Mike Kalinowski can recover with the next category. That would be Star Wars. Don't worry, Alex <coughs> Damon has left the building. <laughs> what is the name of the Rebel Alliance base on Hoth featured in the opening of The Empire Strikes Back? Oh. Your favorite movie. Yeah, it's a great movie. Most people. 
I go Jedi. Oh, so my favorite movie. We'll watch it later. We will. New Hope's pretty good. One Mike Kalinowski. No. Echo Base. It is. I did not have that. Did not have it, so Mike gets a point back. Han, old buddy, do you read me? Three, two. Next question. I didn't even have a guess. Harry Potter. What class does Professor Sybil Trelawney teach at Hogwarts? Fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Well, I got close. Wait. I love how you don't even attempt to pronounce yes. it. No, I was waiting for Rachel or I'm going to scream it at me. <laughs> Wait, how I, do you I, say I, it? They Four, deliver it in a classy. Three, two. Oh, come on. Divination. Divination. Yes, Divination. Mike. Divination. I couldn't it. remember okay. how you say it. Three. Kalinowski hanging in after some okay. early struggles. Your next question comes from the world of DC. This is DC in Superman 3. Who plays the villainous multi-millionaire Ross Webster? Speaking of, yes. I miss the sitcom Webster. If I give you Webster or who's the boss, who's you watching? No. Who's the boss? Four, no, three, know. different stroke, two, who's oh, boss? Okay. one. Pens down, please. Is it and Richard Pryor? Is it Robert Vaughn? It is. Oh. I didn't have it. Wow, tie game. Ah, okay. No, tie didn't have it. There we go. Yeah. Ah, MCU. damn it, turns the perfect round of shot. <laughs> in the MCU, what is the name of the device that Tony has a miniature version of implanted in his chest and a massive version of powering Stark Tower in NYC? That MCU is still going strong. How is it they can release Five, a new movie like every three four, months? three. And they all make money. Two, I can count. One, pens down, please. Yeah. And Mara. Arc, Arc reactor. reactor. Arc yes. Mike. Arc Arc reactor. Reactor. Yep. That's game. <laughs> How in the hell am I keeping pace with Case? That never happens. Oh, you you know you're in the geek stem. Come on. Give yourself some credit. Pull out a question. Back to the future. Ah, damn it. I'm done. Doc Brown came up with the idea for the flux capacitor after falling off of what? You talk about next season. It was fixing a clock. Is there like but a Back to the Future five. thing that I could do? Four, maybe. I might win three. that. Well, they played one already. Two, did they? one, pens down, please. Falling off City and Hall. Uh, Clock Sink. Tower? Sink. That's correct. Yeah. Oh, Toilet. I toilet. It. Right? It's, it's, I was the closest gentleman. Okay. Next question. You were? The DC EU, or whatever that is. I don't, I don't the DC really like the Back Which to the Future movies. Which DC EU film has the tagline? Accomplish Wonder. I mean, that's a really uh, I, um, I, 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 I don't think it's the obvious. The ask them. They just I don't care. Com five of Columbia. Four, three. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with the I'm obvious. I'm going to go with the obvious as well. Man of Steel? Mike. Oh, yeah. bloody wow. hell. Hey! I mean, it's... I, I, I hate movie tag lines because they're sometimes just so vague. And currently enjoying a two random over Mike Kalinowski as we get to the last question in round number one. And it's a Patreon question. The following question comes from, to us from loyal movie trivia Schmodown Patreon <laughs> member Andy Schick, everybody. Thank you, Andy. And and uh, Andy, 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 supporting our show, you can too. Check out the movie trivia show on Patreon today. We're still waiting for He's Michael Campbell. He's got to show yes. the <laughs> championship. Yes. yes. Heroes and villains. Should. One of each is currently represented yeah. on the desk. The question is: <laughs> This is true. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. After Walter Donovan poorly chose a chalice, deeming it the cup of the King of Kings, Indy surmised the Grail would be the cup of what? Love this movie. Love this movie. Love this scene. Yep. I like Andy. Five, so I don't know. Four. I don't know. Kid knows three. Stuff. You must two, believe, the question? boy. Yeah, certainly. In Indiana oh. Jones and Can the I Last Crusade, one? after Walter Donovan <gasps> okay. poorly chose a chalice, <laughs> doing it with a cup of the, the, the king. No, because you wrote because this. Because I wrote this. Yeah. Well, the but that was his logic, that it can't be a rich cup. No, but he literally says... Four, three. Has to be the two, cup of eight. One pens down, I please. Said it. Mike. Oh. Carpenter. The carpenter. Yes, it is. Mara. I don't think you can give it. I to said me. carpenter, but I added something else, so and it's not acceptable. Yeah, I can't take carpenter and popper on there together. Yeah. So unfortunately, it's gonna have a half. <laughs> sure, half. Yeah. Actually, Chris hit the best out of all of us. No, Chris. Chris got eight. I got seven. 
Yeah, yeah. Most competitors, eh? when they're going up against somebody who's 5-0, and oh, like Mark Hanopic well, is, that might have been the match. But Kalinowski is showing a lot of backbone here. Got to give him Maybe credit I for can that. follow Absolutely. the lights. It was a good fight. He was down, but now it's only a one-point lead by the champion. Hey, there's a reason we were in uh, the team <laughs> final of <laughs> fandom. It's a wheel round, and I'm so happy to say that the wheel of justice, doom, and fate perfect. is a sponsored yes, wheel today. No, I don't know. I, I expect, yeah, that's the thing. I, I explained that to you. Shout out to Josh. Thank you, Josh. Josh sponsoring the entire Josh. wheel. The sponsored wheel slices that Josh likes are Harry <coughs> Potter and Mixed Bag. Thank you, Josh, mm. for watching the show. Now I don't like oh, you, Josh. The wheel round works as thus. Each competitor gets one. Yay for Harry Potter. If you don't like the Yay for Harry Potter, but uh, Mixed Bag is Scottish kind of a mixed duo, bag. You spin again, and whatever well, you land, that's the thing. you have to answer it five. It could be anything. Five questions in an inner geekdom from said category. Each question is worth two points. There's no penalty for missing a question. However, yeah, but four Back to the Future questions and in one Indiana two. Jones doesn't make me any less screwed. Uh, this is true. Options, one of which is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question does go down to one. Remember, you still have your JTE rules that you have saved and a challenge. And because Mara has a one-point lead, you're also the favorite. You can spin first or you can defer to Mike Kalinowski. No, that's true. like Mara? I will let Mike spin first. Okay, Mike's, Mike's gonna go ahead and spin, spin first. Mike, spill from the wheel, not the pig. Here he goes. Mara spill from the wheel, not the pig. Oh. And Mike has all three. Here you go, Mike. He's Sail. looking at the wheel and... Uh, Good say this about Mike Kalinowski, you know. Uh, people give him a hard time. I've given him a hard time. The guy looks good in the suit. Like that. He does. You know? Well, this is vintage, Mike. This is what he did. I will say, he does look good in that suit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how Team Action was dressed when they beat Top 10. Yes. It could be Marvel movies, Star Wars. Yay! Uh, he's not gonna uh, no, he's not going to take that. Because the questions in Star Wars are way too deep cut yep. these days. Especially after a Star Wars movie. Yeah. spit in the face of you and I. It's a shame, though. It is. I mean, I would still take it, but... Oh, yeah. Me. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Tallahassee, Florida. Is that still a thing? Kind of. Oh, Middle Earth. Earth. Middle Earth. Middle Earth. Right, Middle I like it. He knows it. I like it. I, wa I wonder if uh, Mike knows it. I think he does. All right, Mike. First introduced in the Two Towers. Who plays the character of Miranda Otto? Miranda Otto. I am no man. Miranda Otto. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. All right, Kalinowski All right. taking the lead. Question two. In the Hobbit films, what is the name of the hedgehog that Radagast finds dying and moves oh. back to health? Crap. Um. No. Sebastian. That's correct. Yes, indeed. Damn it. Nice. I guess. I call them Sonic. <sighs> Not counting the prologue, the events that transpire in the Lord of the Rings trilogy happen in what yeah, age, age of Middle Earth? The third. <coughs> That's correct. Nice. All right, two more questions. In the Hobbit trilogy, Study. how are Feely and uh, there's cousins. related Cousin. to Thorin? They are his cousins. It's incorrect. They're his nephews. That's correct. What oh, nephews, yeah. Mike Kalinowski had a lot of momentum. He still is the uh, leader. Like that's a four-point swing. All right, last question. Last question. Shadowfax, the <coughs> leader of all horses in Middle-earth, belongs to what breed? If he goes Ooh. to us, I'll know it. That's a deep cut. Five. Multiple choice. Is it A, Felleroff, B, Miras. 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 C. One of the Maras, yeah, Legolas says it. D. Hurin. Shadow Facts is the Five, Lord of all hosts. Four. Three. He has been my friend. B is correct. Yep. Hold right. on. So five questions matters. in. It is 13-9, four-point lead over the champion here. Mara Kanopic <sighs> is going to spin the wheel now. Champion goes to see what can she pull off. She got what? steel here, and you got to think the mindset for Mara now is just whatever you do, whatever you spin, don't let's let go, go Mara. Go Mara. Go Mara. Star Trek. <laughs> Star Trek. Star Trek. That would be nice. Kanopic was rolling in that in that category. Very. What else did she get rid of? In round uh, number two, uh, I answered that question. I know, but if you took some time, if you would have got it, like specifically, so round two, release date goes for the yeah, release date, definitely. Dwarf Brown Star, yep, Brown Star. Uh, uh, actually, it's coming so around. Marvel. Is it going to be Star Wars this time? Oh, Star Marvel, Star Wars. Oh, she's she's away from it. Oh, no, that's a thing. 
Okay, well, let's unless you're a Star Wars that. expert, you. No. That's actually interesting how the Star Wars competitors don't compete in inner geekdom. You watch this go around, you have mixed bag my trip from simply because you're not sure what's going on. Alex should. Is it going to be a who said it? Who said it? Oh, yes. I like this. All right, Mark. As you might infer from the title or the playful tone of the wheel slice, who said it? Damn it. I'm going to ask you about some quote stuff. okay with it. The question is. Out of first out of five, what DCEU character said, "I can save today, you can save the world." Pod can I don't fucking know. <laughs> five, four. Uh, Hippolyta. Three, two. We repeat Dead the shot? question. <laughs> what DCEU character said, "I can save today, you can save the world." Steve Trevor. Two points. Correct. Oh, Usage of the right. GTE rule spent, but yes, one left. Two okay. At least I was in the right movie. <laughs> round two slate. Your next question, Mara. What wizard said, true courage is about knowing not when to take a life, but how to spare one? Gandalf. That is correct. <laughs> Gandalf the wise <coughs> and probably high. Tie Your next game, question. Gandalf the great. Or Gandalf. And, and definitely high. <laughs> bounty hunters. We don't need their stuff. Admiral Fearmas Piet, baby. Admiral Piet. Five, four, three. Multiple choice. One of, is arguably, my, arguably my favorite Imperial D, officer. D, General Veers. C, Emperor Palpatine. Or D, um, General Moti. Tarkin, Thrawn. I said arguably. Five. Because I'll put it this way. Four, He's the one that three, I wanted to eight. live beyond that his is death. Correct, Mike Kalinowski, so your multiple choice options. Please. Is it A, Admiral Piet, B, General Veers, C, Emperor Palpatine, or D, General no, Moti? A? It is A. Oh. Yep. Well done. Hey, that's good. That's good. Oh, no, it. And Mar has one question left. In round number two, two and now Mar Kanopic. Something's a similar fate. I think one. Back to you. Here's your question for two points if you get it right off the bat. Who said, do you know the Klingon oh, no. proverb Four. that tells us revenge is a dish that is best served cold? It is very cold. Khan, Nooni, and Sing. Come on. Huh? Five, four, three, two. Multiple one. choice. Is it A, Khan, B, Cybok, C, Nero, or D, Krug? Krug. Yep. A. Oh, it is a ties it up. Nice. Tie game. Tie game. One more question. Okay. One more okay. question. She gets this. This right. is a match. Jesus. Looking at her having a two-point lead <laughs> heading into the betting round. Mar <coughs> what hero comic book character said? My weakness: small knives. Anything but knives. What? Five. Airball. Three. Two. Multiple choice. Is it A, Hit Girl, B, Spider Man, C, Deadpool, or D, Iron Man? Hit Girl. Spider Man. It's incorrect. Mike Konowski for the steal. Is it A, Hit Girl, B, Spider Man, C, Deadpool, or D, Iron Man? I think Deadpool. I don't think so, too. Five. Who's Deadpool? We are tied going into the next round because neither competitor got that one right. It was Spider Man. Spider -Man. It was fighting. So we're all tied okay. up here. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. In the books but a uh, tie game, yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> 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 betting round. round. Number three is the betting round. How does that work? <coughs> the betting round works as such. We're going to have Mark and Opic because we're oh, tied here at 14. She's going to give that wheel one last sure. spin. Once she does, so it's going to settle on a category. Yeah, if you, if you count that, that yeah. category <laughs> is, each competitor is going to bet. You can wager zero of your points. You can wager up to three points. You can also pick one point or two points, but be careful because that will reflect how confident you are in said genre. If you get the question right, you gain that many points, but if you miss it, you lose that amount of points off your total. So the scores can really change here, as can the damage between two competitors. Here comes Mara to spin that wheel yep. and, and see what it lands on. Mara has one JT rule left. Mike right. has three. Spin that wheel. <laughs> Whatever it might be. And it, could be uh, it could be who said it. It could be Middle Earth again. Maybe it's even Star Wars. You and I get lucky. And it's a, this is really oh, where the strategy comes fun. in. And how confident they are in the category that's chosen. <clears> because And how many you're going to bet. How many points do you bet here? Very interesting. This could be a big swing as we're showing up to Star Wars. Oh, it's, it's, no. 
Oh, DC. that's DC. not good. Okay, DC. DC movies. So DC movies. I'm not confident in that. <laughs> Say one point. <laughs> Two points. No, I'm not betting anything. <laughs> no. That's the thing, at least you can't lose anything, and I'm not confident this enough in it. Played Senator June Finch oh, in Batman that's DCEU, oh, that's Holly not Hunter? DC. Holly Hunter? It is Holly. I'm sorry. We could write down! I'm sorry. I know you know it! Yeah, it's Holly Hunter. Look, it's I Holly know Hunter. you know it. Yeah. Four, yeah. Like, <sighs> but two, this, this, seriously, this is not DC, Mara, this is DCEU. You separate the category. Yeah. Because already... How many points? I chose two. Holly Hunter. Both correct. Goes up by one. Ah, Mike in the lead, and onto the speed round, which he is good at. He's a DC movie news, yeah. So it actually kind of surprised me that he didn't go for three. Because he thought it was going to be full DC. It's probably like a five Batman Forever question go or something, which uh, if that's what it was, I would have certainly uh, nailed it. But uh, is Batman Forever the one with Michelle Pfeiffer? No, that's uh, Batman Forever. Uh, uh, those turns, we've seen that one. Uh, Forever is Val Kilmer oh, and Nicole right. Kidman and Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, Tom Curry. Jones. <laughs> Ready, ready to go. Okay, <laughs> let, let, let's not fool ourselves. If Tim Curry was Two Face and Batman Forever, that would have been <laughs> amazing. Yes. Wow. All right. Grandpa taking a long pull off his whiskey. Uh, All right. Sorry. Here we My go, guys. Something. How okay. Films Secret. featured Richard Harris as Professor Two. Yeah. Albus. Yep. Mara. Two. Two. Correct. Unfortunately. Tie game. Yeah, it's unfortunate we died. Which planet <laughs> was destroyed by Nero in J.J. Abrams' Vulcan? Vulcan. Yeah. Correct. All right. Who is the first member of the Avengers to appear on screen in Avengers Infinity War? Iron Man? Mara. No. Thor. Correct. Oh. Oh, yeah. It is Thor, indeed. Yeah, That's true. Right. My bad. Who addresses Luke Skywalker as Sir Luke? C-3PO. C-3PO. Mara. C-3PO. Correct. <laughs> Last, Last one. question. Last one. Who plays Dick Grayson, a.k.a. Robin, in Batman for... Chris O'Donnell. Oh. Chris yeah. O'Donnell. Correct. Ah. Kurt, tie game. Damn. <laughs> Holy crap. Tied up. Yeah. Going into the This is the great. This is really great. This up to five pointer. Or sudden death. Why not sudden death? You know? That would be fun. Uh, Our hearts can take that. Yeah, why not stab me repeatedly in the chest? <laughs> First battle, they were just yep. back and forth the whole time, and now we're back to round hey, three. Uh, here, excuse me, Mara Cushing was a match. Remember? Here's how it works. Everybody in the studio audience. Yeah, that was that, that, that was the match that to broke. Death. Uh, <laughs> death for me. If we get some death, don't worry, we'll play because you guys have earned that right, and the belt is going to go one way or the other, possibly by the end of this round. You each are going to give us a series Lord. of numbers. These numbers can range from one <coughs> to sixteen. From one to sixteen. You give us each three numbers. Those numbers correspond to a different corner of the inner geekdom movie trivia showdown. And just think there's a very likely possibility that this match could go points. into the your next 30s. Three and your last one, should we make it yeah. Far? Yeah, if they, all, if they hit all their points, then it's 28-28. And then with the two some next questions, you're there. The favorite and so. the defending champion. So you'll give us your series of three numbers first, nope. then we'll hear last. Nine. And that's a 30 for 30 for you. Champion, the challenger. Sorry. At two. Hey, you got it. All right. Good numbers, good numbers. Right. Clap for the numbers. I feel them. I feel good. I feel good about those numbers. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Tie game. We start with the challenger, Mike. You, cho <coughs> you chose number three. Scores and soundtracks. Oh, right, here you go. It's a two pointer. It is. Alan Silvestri composed. Alan Silvestri composed full scores what? for which yeah. three? Yeah. Uh, Avengers, Avengers, Infinity War, and Captain America: The First Avenger. Give you a 20. Captain America, Avengers. the first Avenger. Yep. No, that was Avengers. Dead. Avengers Infinity War. Correct. Yep. That's not a two point question. Wow. Yep. <laughs> no, that is That's pretty tough, for actually, for two pointer. Right now, we move on to um, uh, who uh, selected number nine for your two point question. <laughs> selected number I don't know why either. Laura, and right. your question is in the is... world of Marvel. These are Marvel movies. Okay. And the query is. What is the name of the robotic warrior that Wolverine fights at the end Silver of Samurai. the Wolverine? Uh -oh. Silver Samurai. Yeah. Two points. Yeah. It's bullshit, by the way. <laughs> we, we watched them all except for the wolf. Yeah. I'm smelling overtime, Christian. I'm smelling it. Them. It's on the stove. All right. That? Kalinowski chose eight. Eight. Or the DCEU. Yeah. DCEU. All right. Okay. 
That's good. Mike. Yeah. What item does Steve give Diana at the end of Wonder Woman upon mm. saying his final goodbye? His watch. Oh, the watch. The watch. Mm. Yeah. It seems. It looks like he's okay in the second one. That's correct. <coughs> Point to his daddy, point to him. Now I yeah. guess uh, Wonder Woman has All right, so <coughs> we'll go back to Mara yeah. Kanopic, who chose category <clears throat> number two. Here we go. Mara, you chose number two for three points. And just remind me again, what who, what was that song from that you walked in the ring to? Bum. Ba -da -bum. Uh, it was, oh, that's Indiana pretty pink. Jones. Right, perfect. I actually believe it was Indiana Jones, oh. and that is what your three-point question is from. Nice. The wild, wonderful world of Indiana Jones. Three movies, they went ahead and made a fourth one. <laughs> And they're going to make a fifth one. Points. Mm -hmm. In which language did Indy's father make him count to Greek? In Greek. Before he would listen to him in the beginning you know so of well. Indiana Jones. And that's uh, the, uh, the, uh, It was, in fact, wow. Greek. Woo! So, so there you go. Uh, Here we go. Back and, and forth again. And so Mike Kalinowski is in the position that he was in the opposite time last time. He's got a chance to hit his five. What's so great? He's going to get Young a chance Indy. to hit yep. his five to take the lead. He has category number 14. <coughs> category number 14 for Mike. If he hits it, he's got a chance to win the title. If he misses it, it will bounce back to Knopic for a chance for her to defend the title. And here we go. 14 is who said yep. it. 14 is who said it. <coughs> nice. Um, said not good, it? but... War will make corpses of us all. Find their hands. It's Faramir. Jeez. Two towers. Four. Three, that's that's two, a deep question? cut. Who said? Especially because you don't know movie or anything. It's just who said. Yeah, it's like no indication to what this is. Five, Ooh, four, five, three, hands. two, Aragorn. He was close. Oh, he was close. So, God. Gee, so now, Mara but that is a deep it. cut. Holy crap. <laughs> She will defend the championship and <laughs> she has such and bad up. luck with five. If players. she misses it, yeah. we go to sudden death. She does. Here you go, Mark. She yeah, this is this is something really crap. Seven. Number seven and the number of she's of gonna husband. win. Corresponds up here. She should. Even if they go to sudden death. The great she's Bill going. Star Wars. Nothing but Star yes. Oh, no. oh boy, that, that's 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 going to be something, wait, guys. It's a five pointer, though. It's a five point Star Wars Shit. question. She's fun. <laughs> yeah, she's screwed. Damn it. For the win. In Revenge of the Sith. Hey, at least she doesn't. What are Darth Vader's first two words? Yes, after master. After being put into his infamous life saving outfit. Damn it. She's not going to get this. Oh. She doesn't know. No. no. Five, no. four, three, the babies. Two. <laughs> Looking for yes, master, or a a sudden death. Damn! That's so we are sudden death, guys. <laughs> no. I called it. So now we are going to sudden death. The whiteboards are out. How does it work? In sudden death overtime, the whiteboards are back whiteboards out, out, as are the markers that we were so kind enough to provide. It's going to work a little bit like round one, except the pressure will be maxed. Whiteboards out for sudden death. <laughs> a random movie trivia category. You're not going to know which no, inner geekdom genre it is. Uh, do we still have beer? Right down your best we team. have beer. I'm it's too early for beer. <laughs> it kind of is, yeah. Don't worry, we move on to the next question. If you both get the question right, we move on. It is almost four over here, so that's not the and one of you it's for in my country already, so it's okay. <laughs> That's true. Declared. Uh, it's five o'clock somewhere. Match. You are no stranger to these five no, round epic clashes. Are you guys pretty comfortable with the rules? <coughs> Say to them for sudden death. Yeah. All right. You both look thrilled to be here. How many JT rules do I have left? You. You have two. two nice. Left. Good for him. One left. All right. Here we go. Sudden death. That what might is help. the model number of the gold prototype suit that Tony Stark Can. primarily uses during the events of 2013's Iron Man 3? I don't think this is right, but... Jarvis, five, do me a favor. Two, four, three, two, one, Mara. Mark 42? Oh, I have blow Mark 42. 42. Correct. All right. Is it Mark 5? Next one. Mark 5 is used in Iron Man 2, I believe. I don't know. Of truth. Wonder Woman's lasso of truth is also named for what ancient Greek goddess? Yes. Uh, ah. 
Five, four. Three, I don't know what I'm not gonna two, do with anymore. One, Mike. Hestia. Hestia. Mara. Hestia. Yes. Okay. Oh boy. 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 Your next question in sudden death overtime. What Jedi Master is piloting a starfighter when he shot down? Really, this is what's gonna kill her. In revenge. This. Uh, Are you kidding me? Because yeah. My, my, deep cut, by the way. My, my, Mike knows this. Mike Five, knows this. And four, three, mother two, fucker. One, Mara. Low Mace Windu. And Mike. Just show the damn board. Is Can it we just seriously Plo just cop the. And you're oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! And wow! Yes! Yes! Well done, Mike. Well done. Like it's well deserved. It is so deserved. Here. Like a beast. Yeah. yeah. Wow, what a match. What a match. fucking match. We had here is who's going to win this Maybe epic inner geek to match up. Oh, he's hell yeah. He had to go to sudden death to do it, but he's going to have to prove what it all match. over again pretty soon. God. Sorry, Chris. Another epic battle. This was a sudden death battle. Oh, like what a fight for both of them, really. Champion. He did it, and he did it in Oh, an instant rematch in a month. <laughs> 6 25. That's my consolation <laughs> prize. Exhausted. I'm okay with that. And he takes the championship in a By the way, then they will have fought each other in the span of a few months. Three times all five rounders. <laughs> oh, we played games. I mean, that's how you get the sudden death. That's killer. <laughs> hey, oh, <laughs> you knew what you were doing. You knew. Fun and tender. Hey, puns are always intended. Interview with the winner and the loser. Ah, oh, that was good. And he won on the Star Wars question. Eh? He won on the Star Wars question. Amazing, Mark and Opic. There's the beauty. <coughs> I know you are upset right now, obviously. Um, Not really. It was a it was a tough match, and it was a well fought match. You put on an amazing performance this really entire well tournament when, with the Inner Geekdom tournament, and then you won against Jason Inman. I mean, you've solidified yourself pretty much as Rookie of the Year. I don't really care about titles like Rookie of the Year, Player of the Year. It doesn't mean anything. I mean, the I'm so is, glad. That if the Irwin wins this, I really do. the next match. But then I think I it's Irwin. At the expense of Because it'll be health, eight and one. <laughs> way too hard at this, so I'm just gonna take a step back. Or seven and so one. So that's how I feel about it. We are back with your new energy. Hey, Jazz. Mr. Mike Kalinowski. Mike, <coughs> just, just, take a I know back. you've waited a really I'm long time for you. this moment. It's been two years. In the beginning, almost you a year ago, be. I said, what did I, what did I say been at the beginning walking. of this? I said, I'm going after that belt. No more of the theatrics, no more dressing up in costumes, coming in, all that kind of thing like that. I had a goal. You know, some, some people in the league, they like to say, where's the belts, where's the belts, and never find the belts. I knew where the belt was, <laughs> and what it took you after it. And where is it right now? <coughs> on my shoulder. It's on my shoulder. You and Mara had an amazing match <laughs> out there. And she is... You never failed to disappoint, the two of you. She never fails to disappoint. By the way, should also like, compete you know, in a in that match. He knows the stuff. And I was like, I'm going to lose. I, this is it. She is a phenomenal competitor. You know, you know what, I, I just want to say something. A lot of people I'd, in this I'd league like talk does. about their belts for themselves and, you know, this is our belt or this is, we, we're the league of this and that and stuff like that. This belt right here, it's for corruption. You guys <coughs> stood with me through it all. The ups and the downs, here we are. So this belt, it's for you guys out there. And Mike, I, know, I know you and I know all of the studying and all of the work and preparation that goes into these matches. Like, what you respect this, a liar. Absolutely. What does this that. mean to you? Well, you know, uh, a little bit of weakness at the end of that match there, and it came through because it's all of us put all our time into this, our hearts into this. It's, uh, you know, and, and some people say it's just a game. Others, you know, have their own opinions on it, but it was something I wanted. Uh, and, you know, here I am. You know what? I'm going to go shine this belt. Go for it. Okay, if Mara can't compete, they should get him in there. Looking pretty confident. Eminem Cushing. He's got the championship. There he was. Happy about it. Eminem v Cushing, you know, number one again, contenders match. Tired from this Space match. is Mike. Yeah. Oh. I'd be down for that. Mm, yes. What a champion. Cushing, By the way, this Cushing Kalinowski this, too. <laughs> By the way, this year has been so great for in a beat them. Really. Yeah. I'm, I'm very happy with it. I mean, look, and I, I, I give Mike grief. And that's just the character because the actual person, Mike Kalinowski, I love that. I love that guy. He's he's a great guy. We're gonna get to find that out soon. He's, he's a really good actor as uh, as this show oh, yeah. loves to remind me. <laughs> it's not time to close up shop here. But the movie trivia show on Spectacular Three. We got just one more match. But this has been the year for Aaron Geek. This has been the year for Aaron Geek. 
need him to shine. So, yeah. Wow. The tournament. <coughs> are you ready? Yeah, are you ready for the the big one? In New York, and it's gonna be Come on, Roca. Come on. When we get back. Just a few minutes. Come on, both of them. Just, I want both to play their hearts out. <laughs> so, look. Grab your scene. I'm working on ah. These are the teeth. I'm working on placing this order for these big time t-shirts. Look at all. Big time. Championship. Your face. We are <clears throat> the champions. I like it. I like it. It's great. We <laughs> no, no. are the champions. How <laughs> are you doing? Oh, interesting. Champion. Big time champion in New York. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you think you're getting ahead of yourself here, Jay? No. Jumping ahead there? Thinking no. you're gonna beat him he's gonna beat me already? I don't think I know. You you know? I know. I've seen your record with managing people. You shouldn't know anything, son. <laughs> well, here's what I know. Yeah. Seven and one. Yeah. It took you a long time to get three wins in a row to get to that. So what's basically He didn't even get three, he got two. You know how to lose in big situations. <laughs> well what I know how to do, which you don't know, is win belts, son. Three of them. That's what I've done. I've seen them all come and go. Now, I know this kid's come around. He's pretty good. 7-1. Won that whole tournament. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a grown man. I'm Look him. Trust me. I tell you what. First, I think it's 6-1. But either way, I'll take it. Okay. It is 6-1. More importantly, you're a legend. You're yeah, 6-1 right now. I respect you. But, but, but I, I tell you what. And other people have been saying this to me as well. You know, the yeah. story comes to an end. And today, this is it for you. And I'm sorry. See how the favorite table comes? It's like Andre the Giant. Hulk Hogan at the steroids. And Tom's so you, just Andre the sneakily Giant, in the background. Allegedly. Okay. Hulk Hogan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What you think is Andre the Giant? Is this Hulk Hogan toy series? Okay. You almost done? You mean Andre the Giant? Hulk Hogan toy series. Men. Andre the Giant can't do it anymore with those old legs of his. Andre the Giant using a cane to get to the ring. Can't even perform anymore. That's what's going to happen. Look, Hogan, I know he's your Hogan has four moves. You you're, four, you're a four move dude. You almost done? Okay, cool. Here's the deal. You beat some great ones, but you're still a rookie. You've only gone five rounds once. This is a championship match. That's a whole nother ball game. Don't start that legend crap, because I, <coughs> I ain't going nowhere. I fight till I die. That's how it works, Ethan. You've only played one person with a singles championship. That was Dan. I respect you TKO'd him. And, and he TKO'd him. Yeah, he did. Why is he still here? Because her horsemen get put down. <laughs> be nice. Aren't you being nice? Being nice? He is like my good luck charm. Nice. Is he? I'm He's nice. supposed to be nice. I'm just saying. Hey. The thing is, luck it's going to be a great good luck. Only in America. <laughs> Anyone who says I'm nice <laughs> isn't really nice. <laughs> Get your hands off my hands. Especially in the case of Jay Washington. I kind of like this. Is it, it's, it's a cool. prayer thing. Blessings. And you have a great one, Roka. We'll see you when you lose. God bless you. Bless you. How dare you? Thank you. Oh. 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 Yep. Yeah. Hello. One of these whack jobs so much. <laughs> for the beginning of the ultimate schmo I stuck wearing the mask. Both Matt Nost mm. and John Roca team top 10. Here comes the Yeah, where's Nost? John Roca. He has not been in any schmodown thing since he since they uh he lost with Bids in the team tournament. Oh, this, this moment. What <laughs> Planet settings in the Empire huh? Strikes Back. Dagobah. Huh? Dagobah. Oh. I don't know. Tatooine. <laughs> best spin. The planet was best spin. I want the rematch. I deserve the rematch, and I'm coming for you. And you're <coughs> Speaking of uh, a third match that I just everyone meets uh, Man's Rocker 3. I want it. Everyone it. wants it. Same again. Clark Wolf, Dan Morrell, Mark Riley. My road doesn't end until the belt is on my waist. And your mm. winner advancing to the ultimate showdown Lost against Baby Carrots. Oh, I screamed so hard. Uh, so did Broca. Ah! Jeez, that moment. But it's so sweet. It is so it is so genuine. Yeah. <coughs> I beat a murderer's road again here. I beat the head murderer to win the title. You line him up, I knock him down. That's how it works. Four, three, two. Oh, Michelle Monaghan. Uh. And your winner! And you 
I don't make those decisions, but I'm happy to take you and Merle on. Michael Kine. And your winner! Yeah. That match. It hurts. <laughs> that match hurts. Well, it's gonna take a while because we gotta win three matches to get a shot at the title again. <laughs> Oh, that Schmo's top 10 too still hurts. It does, especially uh, <laughs> Hero and Nickelback. God damn it. It's not the first time that anyone has hated Nickelback. <laughs> it won't be the last. Emily Blunt, Rock Hudson, four. Jane Fonda, and you I'm dialed in, ain't nobody can beat me when I'm dialed in, and that's the truth. And all you young ones, all you new rooks, I ain't done by a mile, and I want my title back, so come bring it! <coughs> you lost against Snyder, I'm next. gonna throw one name at you, remember the name, Ethan Irwin. I believe that Ethan Irwin could be a potential champion. <coughs> it's big time Irwin! Let's pray, coming to America. I mean, I should know this since I work at the company. Monica Bellucci. And your winner! I've got my eye on a few of these people. Oh, do you now? CIA. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Keeping the faith. Macaulay Culkin. One point behind. It is everything we thought it would be. Ben Lucas. And your winner, Ethan! I feel like the next step is the godfather himself. Bobby D. Rugby. Sully. Martin Short. And your I'll take on Merle. I'll take on Stacey Howard. In a perfect world, title shot. Sam Levine. I feel like I have nothing left to prove. There's only one logical step left, that and that is to yeah. walk away. Mm -hmm. Give up both belts. Who's our next champion? Five Bucks says he's back Ethan at uh, Free For All 3. The mm. This is a big test for Ethan because Mark Andreco is that good. Sam Neill. Correct, Mark. I <coughs> didn't have it. Wow. Secondhand line. Correct. And Drake. Secondhand line. Got it. Ethan and Erwin has scored a perfect round. Canada. Correct. Ghost. Correct. The Warriors. Correct. Ethan Irwin has to hit the five pointer. Name the three darling children from Disney's yeah. Peter Pan. Yeah, Richard and Steven. And your winner! Loaded. Question. I don't. Ethan. John Michael Wendy. Look, if you this time don't watch Disney movies all the time. <laughs> You exactly. Know. You don't know it. It's a, yeah. you, know, <coughs> you don't. You know that stupid rule Christian's got with Thad? You gotta win three to get a title match. Well, Thad and I, we got a little thing going on. Now it's gonna be two wins. Get a shot at the title. Bateman, you beat Bateman. One more play, you beat. Ah, uh, he's hurt. Think about it, champ. No, I can't even look at Chris right now. Oh yeah. Horseman. Five, four, three. Two. Congratulations, man. A pizza Editing, party. I'm telling Jesus you. Christ. Whoever edited this, I don't, I, I haven't paid attention, but you're awesome. It's amazing. That would be the one and only <coughs> uh, clip flop, flip flop, and shop shop. Hmm. Oh. sir. You don't watch the um, shows on a live show, that's why you don't know. <laughs> you don't either anymore. But I used to. Yeah, but it's not a thing anymore. That's the thing. Stop like, shaming me. Mr. Glass, I'm a busy woman. No, that's true. I know. Rosamund Pike. And you're winner! Elizabeth Becky. <laughs> they said the Becky, but it's the Becky. Is John Roca, but he will be playing the winner of the singles tournament at the Spectacular in the main event. Anybody who comes out of this tournament, because it's chock full of incredible competitors, <coughs> I, play. I give my heart, I focus, I concentrate, I study, I spend hours studying movie trivia so I can show up and give you a damn good match. We're both dialed in when we talk about the movie trivia schmodown. <coughs> I will be the manager for big time Ethan Irwin, and that is an amazing thing. The singles tournament begins. Chance Ellison, he goes up against Ethan Irwin. What late singer did Brad Pitt's character oh. idolize? Chance is so well. Oh, Holy crap. Elvis. And your winner! <clears throat> Guys, they're just on the belt. Like, if I have to go through Merle, if I have to go through Roca, it, it's fine. Ethan Irwin, once again, making it clear he wants the championship. 
Ethan's been calling Dan out for a while now. The Warriors. I didn't know it. I had to put Mean Street. Astro Boy. That's real steel. I know. <coughs> Congratulations, Ethan. Paul Greengrass. And your winner! It is guaranteed that Ethan will be in the Schmodown Spectacular. Uh, you're going to have your hands full. Wolf and Earl, the <coughs> stage is set. Whoever pulls off the victory in this five round battle will face the champion. Marcus. 28 days later. Gene Wilder. Sleeping Beauty. Firestarter. Clark Wolf has to hit her five pointer. South side with me. Mm. And your winner! <coughs> Big time Irwin! Ethan Irwin advances and gets his shot for the championship against the outlaw John <coughs> Ethan Irwin is in the main event. I ain't scared of Ethan. I ain't intimidated by him. All I care about is that you're coming for this belt. I'm the best there is, the best there ever was, and the best there ever will be. The Andre the Giant of the Schmodown, your new Schmodown champion. Hey, big time. It's showtime. It's time for the movie trivia Shmoda. Damn, his promos are on point. Hell yeah. <coughs> I feel like I'm in a movie theater. <laughs> Just watching awesome previews. So many previews. <laughs> we are now pleased to give you our feature presentation. <laughs> We don't have that in our theaters. Well, then, your theaters are lame. Kind of. Not really, but... <laughs> and we're back! Absolutely! Can you feel it? Can you feel it? All right, I can feel it. I can feel something. So far, <laughs> we have a new commissioner in Emma Fife. We have... The team champions are the Shire Wolves. The number one contender is Dan Merle. The Star Wars champion is still Alex Damon. Your new inner geekdom champion is Mike Kalinowski. And now the big dance. Like we've been saying, it's Hogan versus Andre. It is time for the movie trivia Schmodown singles championship of the world. The reason why we are here today. Two Big figures going head to head, a legend against a rookie sensation. Wow. You say Hogan versus Andre. I say it's the Giants and the Colts from the 58 NFL Championship game. Why do I bring up the New York Giants, you ask? Because the winner of this match will be defending the title in East Rutherford, New Jersey, Giant Stadium. That's not, not, not true. That's the venue. Not true at all. Sold it, is, it out. It is in New York, and the winner of this will it be is sold out. the championship against Dangerous Dan Merle hey, in New York. Give it about three years, and maybe the they will be at Giant and Stadium. And the question again is who? Because you look at these two people, if you they start could out come to uh, Europe the first, that would be Ethan unique. Irwin, who is seven and one in his rookie season, he has London. two knockouts. I would need a visa. Yeah, London is a bitch. Berlin would be better. But after that loss, mm. he rallied. He came back. He beat Chance Ellison in the first round. He TKO'd Dan Merle in the second round, Earth. and then he narrowly defeated, fast. but did Amsterdam. Yeah. And he has gotten himself here. He is the only. Is the one of the only players to it's win awesome. consecutive. <laughs> Three game win streak. You don't like, hmm? do you don't like him, Sterling. The champion, John. Uh, well, I like John the fact that it's Netherlands. <laughs> in the game. He is a two time <laughs> champion. He is a former team champion. He got the belt back <laughs> this year when he beat his rival, William the Beast Bibiani. A road. What a road. The last time he had challenged for the belt was a year and a half. He wins <coughs> the belt. And now we have this epic matchup between Roca and Irwin. I get paid handsomely to talk not enough today, so let's throw it over to the competitors. Mm. That is Ethan Irwin and John Roca. Take it away, gents. Outlaw Nation! Yes! Let me hear you. Woo! Well, well, well. It's time. Ethan Irwin, the giant, coming for the belt. Let me tell you something, kid. You ain't playing some... <clears throat> New kid that just got here like Chance Ellison. You're playing one of the veterans of this league. Three years I've been doing this thing. Three spectaculars in a row, and now I'm main eventing. 
we have come to the point yeah. oh my where God, greatness point. has reached the pinnacle. Yeah. The Andre the Giant of the good. Schmodown is in the main event of the Schmodown Spectacular. You are looking at the next wonderful first ever rookie singles champion, Ethan Irwin. And today, Ethan, you get to take out the proverbial Hulk Hogan of the Schmodown in John Roca, who by, is a great champ. Ethan, I've seen him come and go. I've seen them all come and go. The newcomers coming in. You're one of the best. No denying that. Seven That's and one. True. You won that tournament. You TKO Dan Murrow. You beat Clark Wolf, who I've never faced. You've shown what you can do. But coming for the belt is a whole nother ball game, son. You are about to make history tonight, and I'm honored to watch this happen. The first ever rookie to hold the Schmodown Championship. And Jay Washington, you can run your mouth all you want. This is real life stuff now, kid. This ain't no game. <clears throat> this ain't no fake indie promotion at some garage somewhere. This is the real deal. <coughs> so you ain't gonna rattle me, you ain't gonna affect me. I'm here to win this damn match. And I'm gonna pick you up, Ethan, and I'm gonna body slam you like Hogan did Andre in WrestleMania 3. I mean, it's insane to me. The fact that I've just made it to this point is incredible to me. The fact that I got to go up against, and, and uh, lucky enough I was able to beat great people like Clark, like Merle, but like like Chance. I mean, it's it's it was all awesome. a great competitive route. Everybody was good. See, I've had uh, three years of people That's not believing price. I can do it, mm -hmm. and then I do That's it, high price. and I prove them wrong. You know why? No, I just <clears> gave him a great fight. Mm -hmm. I'm the best there is, the best there ever was, and the best there ever will be. You better mark it down. I'm gonna say this as nice as I can to the outlaw with so much respect. You have put in work in this league. You have busted your ass time in and time again. It is appreciated, it is respected. But what you're also gonna respect is that your time is over because now it's big time. Big time Ethan Irwin, who is going to be for the next time for me to repeat it, your new Schmodown champion. Hey, big time. It's showtime. Let's just like do this. In the beginning of this video, there's intimidation. Are you psyched, Chris? I can't tell. Really wants to be <laughs> oh, yeah. The manager, the first manager ever take a singles player to the championship. <laughs> intimidating. Uh, yeah, he, he face will. To face. They went. A lot of comments being probably, made between probably. the two of them. A lot of conversations. Roka wants to prove himself. Early. Well, if my coffee wants wasn't so hot, I'd slam it after I get it. But. As the rookie champion, Roka wants to defend <laughs> something he's never done before. He wants to defend the title. He's got the belt right now. Will that be the case? Five rounds and maybe a sudden in death from now. Here's my favorite part of the match. I'm going to open a Coors Light, lay in a hammock while you list off their notable <laughs> accomplishments. Coors Light. All right, so the notable accomplishments. Ethan, big time Irwin is the 2018 Ultimate Schmodown winner. He has two <laughs> three-game winning streaks this season. Victories over Lon Harris, Drew McWeeny, Mark Andreco, Dan Merle, and Clark Wolf. Roca is a two-time champion, former team champion, wins over Bibiani, Merle, Riley, and he is also a U.S., excuse me, an Ultimate Showdown finalist from 2016 against the man sitting next to me here today. Oh, is that true? Well, yeah, look, they both have notable accomplishments. They faced and defeated a number of luminaries in the movie Trivia Showdown Galaxy. We're talking about the New York Giants. Your team is terrible, but they have some history. Bill Parcells said, this is why you lift all them weights. This is why you do all that stuff. And if I was going to give the competitors any words of advice, It'd be from the great Lawrence Taylor. Just go out there like a pack of crazed dogs and let's have some fun. I'm ready, Christian. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with that, all right, Mark, it is time for the movie trivia. Trivia. Five rounds for the movie trivia Schmodown Championship of the World. Introducing. Oh, uh, here we go. <coughs> yeah. All right. He was waiting for that. Good to see you guys. It's been a great event. All right. It's been a great spectacular, hasn't it, guys? Yeah. The phenomenal event, spectacular. Get out of there. Christian, I want to give you a break for a moment. Okay. And allow me oh, sure. to do the duty. Go ahead. Introducing duty first. Is it the 2018 <laughs> Sorry. Ultimate Schmodown winner. He is the challenger. And your next reigning, defeated, undisputed, Very impressive uh, on the mic, uh, Jay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
the challenger big time sitting down and that was I got to tell you that's a good hype man doing a good job and, and, and give me I, a break. I got to thank Jay Washington for saving Christian's golden throat yeah. when we need it the most yelling at Roca in round number four. <laughs> and his opponent representing the five horsemen led to the ring by Matt Nost, Mark Riley with a record of 11 wins, Back. six defeats, and three knockouts. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed <coughs> movie trivia schmodown, two-time champion of the world, mm. the outlaw, John Bruca. There he is. Hey, there's Nost. Hey. <laughs> and Chris Brown makes yet another cameo. And he's with Nose, he's with Riley. Greets both of them. And Where's Merle? The mono, yeah. a mono as soon as Jay Washington. They probably had to leave. Ethan's manager probably, yeah. is excused. He's looking at him. Look at him. He, uh, I believed he just planted a kiss on his screen. LED <coughs> cheek with his index finger. Yeah, it's true. Was, we saw is, me. He's not uh, playing. Roka's in there and what? Marshall trying to give him a handshake. <laughs> mm. and Ro Roka, I, I don't think Roka sees him, Chris. He's just waiting. He's putting his belt up first. Yeah, yeah he doesn't see Jay standing right there. I don't know. Does he? Maybe he's not playing. He's not looking at that direction. He's not playing into the games. This, the handshake, he's not going to shake yeah. Jay Washington's hand. I don't think he sees it. He doesn't. I don't think he sees he's the hand. He's not buying yet. it. He's not. Sh there's a man no. right next to him. Give him a match. Give them. Give him your match. Are we ready for the match? Oh, okay. all right, all right. Oh, okay. Doesn't want to shake that. Look, Ooh. he does not buy Jay Washington's yeah, niceness. So there That's... you go. And and well, man, I don't buy Jay Washington's just niceness okay either. That okay. is the nobody is. That's no. Right. That's why the shades are on. John Roca wants it now. John Roca. Ethan Irwin, they shake hands, and I thought it was really classy of Ethan to buy Jay Washington the last Ninja Turtle shirt that is in Triple XL. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It used to be mine. All right, here we go, guys. So we're getting to round number one championship match. Five rounds right. for the championship. Mark, how's it work? He said five, so pace yourself, gentlemen. In round number one, it's going to feel like a normal round one. You're going to hear eight <coughs> different questions from eight different corners of the movie trivia showdown, Spectacular 3, Galaxy. Each question's worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round number one. As soon as you hear a question, write down your best attempt at an answer on the whiteboard. After about 15 seconds, we'll address you by your <coughs> name, show your answer to your camera. At the same time, you verbalize it into the microphone. I'll remind each competitor of your three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the five round match. If you're not sure you heard a question right, you need to buy yourself some time or just want us to repeat it, you want to make us work a little harder, use a JTE rule. You also each have one challenge to use at any time during the five rounds. It's Roka, Come it's on. and I'm ready to go, Christian. All right, so here we go. Round number one, the champion, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Challenge, are you ready? Always be closer. Then let's get ready to smart <laughs> If Category I get to um, fantasy science three, I'm happy. Three. Who starred as the biology professor and former soldier Lena in Annihilation? Uh, you know what? what? I'm a little. Uh, a little I was thinking about this movie for the past week. Oh, no, five. Don't worry. We have we a lot to of time. Four. Big announcement coming. Three, two, one. Roll Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. Yes, it is. Natalie, Natalie Portman. Portman. Yep. Four, yeah. one. Your next category is in the world of That's great thrillers. Movie. These are movies that are thrillers, not the Michael Jackson album. Your question. What 1962 thriller starring Frank Sinatra oh, no. and Angela nope. Lansbury? It was remade in 2004 was with uh, an Liev Schreiber and... Uh, conspiracy. Sure. Oh, so, yeah, no. Uh, there's okay. no more matches after this. Five Absolutely no. And Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. Well, you're leaving the show. Three. <laughs> Manchurian <laughs> Candidate. Oh! Right. Ethan. Manchurian Candidate. Yes, it is. Roka. Manchurian Candidate. Yep. Two, two. Right? <laughs> Next question. Animated films. <coughs> Animated films. Burt Reynolds voiced the character of Charlie B. Barkin in what 1980s animated film? The late grade. That's right. I guess. Five. Sure. Four. 
Three, two. <laughs> all dogs go to heaven. John Roca. No. Uh, all dogs go to heaven. Yep. Ethan. All dogs go to heaven. Damn, Damn it. <laughs> that is indeed a true fact. <clears throat> Your next question comes from the category of crime movies. I don't believe in it. Crime <laughs> films. And your question is, what 1992 crime film stars Robert Redford, Sidney Poitier, and River no. Phoenix? Got the late great. For you. The late great River Phoenix. Oh. Uh, <coughs> he was nominated for an Oscar. Who did he lose to? This? Five. They talked about this four, on top ten. Three. Thank you. Two. One. Sneakers. Ethan. Sneakers. Mm -hmm. Yep, Roca. I like them. Sneakers. Yep. Tied up. Yep. Right. Tied up. The outlaw wears boots, but he knows sneakers. Famous actors and actresses is the next category. Who stars as San Francisco cop determined to find the underworld kingpin who killed a witness under his protection in the 1968 film Bullet? Oh, <laughs> not to be confused with the uh, Best Picture winning uh, director of the speakers. same name. Thank you, like thank you, thank you for you. Uh, thank you for that. Five, I knew that without. Four, <laughs> welcome. Three. No, two, I knew it without it. I have no clue. Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen. Ethan. Steve McQueen. Oh. Tie game. All right, the Cheryl Crow song continues. We move on to the world of comedies. Ha 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 ha. And your question is, who directed Dirty Rotten Scoundrels? You know, a good director. Dirty Rotten he is. Not in these get -ups, no, am I right? Way. No way. Are we going out tonight? Yes. Five, four. Witty, destroyed. witty Three. retort. I said yes. Two. <laughs> Seriously, if, if, if no. Ethan Irwin, no. Frank, Frank Oz, Oz. It is? Uh, John Landis, no, no, looking for Frank Oz, the voice uh, of Yoda. Thank you for the hint, uh, Chris. Otherwise, I would not have gotten that. Murmur in the crowd. Yeah, that's right. They both missed. Yeah, <clears throat> made the movie. He did. Yeah, so nobody going taking advantage. Next question: Action adventure. Who plays the highly skilled career criminal Chris Sherless in Michael Mann's Heat? Heat getting hot in here in this. Uh, enough is enough. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's the yeah. car, right? Three. The chicks like the car. Same. One. Roca. Fuck. Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Yeah. Ethan. Val Kilmer. Tiger. Robert Nair. We both said Robert Nair. The correct answering train, and we move on to yeah, our one final more question. One more chance. Both competitors have missed. They're not going to be uh, allowed a bonus question, but you do have one more in this round. It's a Patreon question, courtesy of Michael <coughs> Campbell. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Campbell. Michael there Campbell. Yeah, we saw. I knew it. Thank, Thank you, Michael. Michael. Thank you, Michael. On Patreon, you can check out the Patreon site. Like which tier is right for you? Maybe we'll say your name on an Yeah, I mean, match. he's a uh, team Michael for a reason. Michael wanted the category of dramas. Mm. And boy, what a fitting category for this match. His question is, to close out round one, who played Stephen Glass in the 2003 wow. film? Wow. Wow. I knew it. He, he loves this movie. I know he does. Glass. <laughs> Five, I do love this movie, four. actually. So really I actually great. thank Good Michael point. for knowing the answer to this question. Is it? Stephen oh. Glass in the 2003 yeah. film <laughs> Shattered Glass. I have to thank uh, Chris for this. Five, four. You're welcome. Thanks. Three, I uh, am aware of this movie. One, Ethan. Hayden, Hayden Christensen. Christensen. The Skywalker Christensen. himself. Not the best Anakin, but yeah, it was okay. Still my, still my Anakin. Here we go, Matt Lander. He did, because it's Chris. Oh, good for you. Sponsored wheel. It's sponsored by Schmodown patron Jake Burnham. Jake Burnham, thank you for your patron. Thank you, Jake. Royal Movie Trivia Showdown patron and his sponsored wheel slices today are Movie Quotes and Mixed Bag. Thanks again. <coughs> I like this guy. Thank you. <laughs> Those are merely two of the 12 Mixed categories bag. you're going to see. You're going to know this is a championship match, and we do not have opponents or spinners' choice no. on this wheel. We do have 12 different categories featuring four yeah. questions each of Movie <coughs> Trivia Know How. Once you spin a category, you can either select it or you may uh, use a mulligan. That is Scottish for spin again. 
and whatever you spin, you have to answer those four questions. Each one is worth two points. If you need multiple choice, we'll give you options, one of which is the correct answer, at which huh. point the value of the question goes down to I totally one. just realized, so out of round Steve one, we had one answer that was Natalie Portman, two. one answer that was Hayden Christensen. <laughs> How perfect. <laughs> it all comes back to Star Wars, baby. You can choose whether you want to spin first or defer to the producerial Ethan. He was first. All right, Ethan will spin first. Jesus, what, what are you saying? That's a deck of the clones. <laughs> John Roca had the ability to either choose to have a punisher or not. Have David Fincher? He chose not to. He chose Damn it. <laughs> oh, they're, they're tight. They are. Yeah. They only missed uh, Frank Oz. Yeah, both of them. And Ethan have been a good team so far. And I think he's probably would admit that he's been a good luck charm as well, too. So, I mean, this has been a hell of a round. Where? Disaster movies. Oh! Denzel! Denzel! Denzel Washington. All right, Ethan, I'll be asking you questions about Denzel Washington. For those of you who don't know, Denzel Washington is an actor who's watching at home. Hi, Denzel. Ethan has worked with him. He watches our show. Big whoop. All right, Ethan. What you got? Denzel Washington, your close personal friend. Yes, yes. Your first question in the world of Denzel, what is his cell phone number? Wait a minute. All right. Two points are not awarded. Broken for the steal. I'll steal that right now. <laughs> your question is, uh, your first of four for Denzel Washington movies. In the movie He Got Game, Denzel Washington's character is serving a prison sentence at the Attica Correctional Facility, which is located in what state? New York. New York. It is in New York. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Move Attica, on to the next question. Attica. In the film Inside Man, who plays Arthur Case, the chairman and founder of the Plummer. Manhattan Trust Bank? Christopher Plummer. It is Christopher Plummer. <coughs> Him and Julie Andrews were great together. All right, your next question. Penultimate one in this round. What is Denzel Washington's character Troy's job in the 2017 film Fences? Garbage man. Uh, he's a garbage man. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He has not needed a multiple choice yet. Only he, best six of of that year that he, he can extend that to mm -hmm. eight if he gets his last one right. Fine. Run. And that one is. How long does it take McCall to kill all the Russian mob members and Alina's pimp Slavi in The Equalizer? Uh, multiple choice. <laughs> multiple choice. Not an error. Is it A, 10 seconds? B, 16 seconds? C, 19 seconds, or D, 24 seconds? Uh, B. C. It is C for right. one point. 19 nice. seconds, and it's about that long to win <coughs> the Denzel category. Seven points Seven out of eight. On That's good, Roka. Seven point Let's keep pace now. Mm -hmm. now. If Roka can get himself a perfect round, he can get a multiple choice, he can take a lead. But if not, Please? he's got to just try to catch up here with Irwin, and he wants to hit something that he's good at. You just so want to spin something spend. you're comfortable. Yeah. Here he goes, because keep in mind, we do have the dunning round right after this. <coughs> the crowd is alive, the crowd is alive, and I'm liking it. And you just get the feeling it could, it's going to be betting round or it's going to be speed round. That's why that they are they're in these championship matches. It's coming around. It's looking like it's going a little too fast for family films. No, it looks like family films. Is it going to be oh, Ridley, Ridley Scott? Scott. Oh. Ridley, Ridley Scott. Scott. Get out of there. Get out of there, Roka. Get out of there. Mm -hmm. Too much random. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's directed some great movies, but yeah. Well, to be fair, it's probably the Scott because he only really loves Gladiator and Blade Runner. Mark Wolf gets that little mm. ramp up. Roka just walks up to it like That's it was it. his kid that he was punishing. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's like Case that with wheel's been through you know, a lot today, and horror it's not films, so. done spinning just yet. Roka, yeah, yeah. Still yeah. Betting round Roka's determine. like you, is what I'm it's saying. It's not going to be family films. Could it be Ridley Scott or even sports movies, Chris? Ridley Scott, sports movies. Sports yes. movies. Right, sports okay. Movies. Uh, Does he know his right, sports John, movies? Fairly. Yeah. Most is the stronger in sports, sports movies, movies, but yeah. Roka does know his go, stuff. All right. Come on. In Hoosiers. Who plays Shooter, the assistant coach struggling with alcoholism? Dennis, Dennis Hopper. Hopper. Correct. All right. Two points. <coughs> Come on. Before playing Foggy Nelson in Marvel's Daredevil, Eldon Henson played enforcer Fulton Reed in which hockey film? I want to say Goon. 
Like a Jesus. random question. Randomly Five. worded question. Yeah, the first part especially. <laughs> Why? A. Mystery Alaska. B. Miracle. C. Goon. D. The Mighty Ducks. I'm still going to say Goon. Yeah, you said Goon. Crap. Uh, goon. Incorrect. Damn. Ethan, your choices are Mystery oh. Alaska, oh, no. Miracle, Goon, or The Mighty Ducks. Mighty Ducks. For one point. Damn it! Oh! Next question here. Next That's a big steal. steal. All, right. All right, 15 to 9. That's quack, a big quack. steal for Ethan. In 2004's Friday Night Lights, yeah. what musician plays an abusive and alcoholic father? Tim <clears throat> yes, it is. Damn. Yeah. He's back. Nice. The outlaw is back. <coughs> Right. Him and McGraw, same hat. Just answer right. it on the two pointer, and we have 15 Which to 13. WWE legend portrayed Patricia Clarkson's oldest son in the 2010 Samuel Golden sports drama Legendary. I don't know, Chris Jericho. Five, four, three. The Big Show? It's incorrect for the Damn steal. Two points. Steal. Triple H. With John Cena. Damn. John Cena. John Cena. <laughs> so Ethan gets himself a point lead over the champion right now as we get into round number three. I was round about to, three, Chris. <laughs> Roka had a strength, but it didn't work out for him here. He's still down by four as we get into the betting mm -hmm. round. And as it turns out, that was Roka spinning round. the wheel probably for this year because Roka's yeah. better yeah. with the uh, He's going to be spinning the wheel one more time in the betting round. Roka's good with the speed round, but the betting round is really dependent on. Yeah. Yeah. Need the on the category, the points, that um, at this point he needs to stay out of the spin by Ethan. And and the, that's the thing, like in the end, it really does not matter that much about the cat, what category it is. It, what matters the most is if you know the question or not, because they're probably just both going to bet points regardless. In a championship match. If it goes Roka's way, we could see ourselves tied going into the lightning round. Is it Denzel again? No. Disaster, disaster movies. movies. Disaster movies. Disaster movies it is. So disaster movies. So what we need each competitor Death to do right now, write down your bet. From Independence three Day. Points, <laughs> how confident you are in one disaster point. movies. We will now ask the disaster oh, movie question, question that will determine whether you win or lose said points. All right. Zero points. What was the profession <laughs> no of points. Gene Hackman's character in the 1972 disaster movie, The Poseidon Adventure? Well, I've seen the remake. Okay. Um, All right, so the question is how many points here? The, the question mm. is, do you even need to go to a five count? We're going to find out. Five, He's a four, reverend. Three, mm. no, two, right. two. I like the remake. Two. two. And you said? Reverend. And Ethan, how many points? Three. You said? I said preacher. Preacher. Yeah, he says yep. preacher. So the give both. them both. Give them both. Yeah. All right, we'll give it the both. Yes. Yep. <coughs> right, yep. Okay. Answer was please. 18 to 13. Go, she needs to hit. Oh, Roka oh, needs a, a very good speed oh, round now. So, oh, that come being on, Roka. said, Ethan Irwin has himself a five point lead <coughs> going into the speed round. <laughs> it's five speed round. <laughs> point lead over the champion in the speed <laughs> round. And now we get yeah. to the rules. How's that work? In the lightning round, it's also known as the buzzer round because time. each competitor has a buzzer in front of them that might determine their fate and where that belt goes after the next round, round number five. All right, Christian, everybody's set. So Ethan like, uh, and Roka, they know the rules of the game. You're going to ask the question. I'm going to make the ruling as to who buzzed in first. They Roka's going to have to pull a damn to Sam Levine here. If they get it right, they gain a point for yeah. their side. If they get it wrong, they lose a point for their total. Without yeah. further ado, Roka, you good? Yep. Mm -hmm. Ethan, you good? Yep. Let's do it. Here we go. Who plays Jim's <clears throat> father in American Pie? Eugene Levy. Roka. Eugene Levy. Yes. <laughs> All right. What was the wow. title of the 1996 sense. sequel to Escape, Escape from, from L.A.? Ethan. Escape from L.A. Mm. Escape from LA. Yes. Damn it. Right. Who voiced Mike Wazowski in Monsters, Inc.? Billy Matt Crystal. Broca. Billy Crystal. Yes. <laughs> what actor won Best Supporting Actor at the Oscars for his performance in Mark Rylance. Spielberg's Bridge Mark of Spies? Ethan. Mm. Mark Rylance. Yes. Damn. Last one. Run, Irwin, Last Jesus. One. Who plays PFC Hirschberg in the war film *Inglorious Bastards*? Sam Levine. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah. You see him! You see him laugh! Five, four, three, two, one. Answer Sam Levine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing! That is fire! That is so mad! That's amazing! Those men are just. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> if he would have actually washed off with the belt, he would have earned it for that. <laughs> Yesterday. He was the bear. I didn't know what his last name was. So Roka, I was like, Roka kept himself. Roka kept himself in there, though. It's five points. Know. Five points. Irwin has a five-point oh lead God. going into the championship <laughs> round. But damn it, five points. Still five points, yeah. All right. So oh. and this is it. Fifth round here. Ethan's oh yeah. Used one I just well, like you Roka want them to go to the fifth. Uh, no, no I always round. figure out In during the match five, who I'm actually rooting for. Uh, I'm like, I want them both. No. You can range from one okay. to twenty. Give us three numbers. Each <clears> number corresponds to a different movie trivia category. Don't worry, there are no questions <laughs> about freaks and geeks. <laughs> <laughs> the first number you give us is a two-point question. The next one is a three-point question. The last one, should we make it that far, is a five-point. Question, John Roca, you are the favorite. You are the belt holder. You're the current champion. However, you find yourself trailing Ethan Irwin by number five. So, Ethan, if you would produce three numbers for us to select your movie questions from. Uh, 17, 1, and 7. 17, Can 1. Can nobody count in a correct order in this <laughs> entire show? John, John Roca. 6, 8, and 20. <laughs> Thank you, John Roca. <laughs> Six, eight, and twenty. All right. So the champion will go first. I, He's I'm trying not trying to avoid about the TKO numbers. here mm. and make Ethan mm. answer points. So John, you chose category six. Category six. Come on. That. <clears throat> Fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy right. sci-fi. Right. It's just right. two pointer. Here we go. <sighs> Who plays Colonel Richard Strickland in The Shape of Water? Michael Shannon. Five, four, three, two. Michael Shannon. Correct. All right. Nice. Yeah, it is. I'm sure he was with one. To to yeah. I wasn't sure he was Colonel. Here, John, yeah, know, that's the Cameron thing. The eight, title threw me off 90s a little. Movies. Mm -hmm. 90s movies. All right. Here you go. Who directed and starred in 1994's Reality Bites? Ben Siller. Mm. Five, four, three. Ethan Hawke? Correct. Uh, ben Stiller. Oh! Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller. So, so he still trails by he's three. He's five now. And now. Otherwise, it's it's a TKO. All comes down to the five mm. question. If Roque hits this, he's going to force the hand of Ethan Irwin. He is going to try to answer it again. If he hits it, goes back mm. to Ethan. If he misses, Ethan Irwin will be the new movie now, showdown champion. Here, here's the issue. Roka started playing mind games the moment Dan that he got a five point. Uh, there was five point be, uh, five behind. Mm -hmm. Actually, after round two, like he gets into his own head. Biopics is good though. Here you go. Biopics. Who plays head engineer Paul Stafford in Hidden Figures? Kevin Costner. No. It's. Or is it Jim Parsons? There we go. It's fuck Sheldon, but Five, yeah. Four, three, two. Repeat the question. Who plays head engineer Paul Stafford <clears throat> in Hidden Figures? Oh. Five, I think he's gonna say Kevin Costner. Three, two. Repeat the question. No. Last one. Or is that the second one? <coughs> second one. No, one more. That's the second one. Sorry. Second one. Who stars? Sorry. Who plays head engineer Paul Stafford in Hidden Figures? Five, four, three, two. Kevin Costner. And you're yeah. by way mm -hmm. of technical knockout and blue movie trivia <sighs> champion of the world, Ethan Victor. Yeah, no, yeah, that's yeah, amazing. Oh, that's that's wrong. From the Big Bang Theory. Ethan takes the title. Ethan is the champion. Merle versus Irwin in New York. And Ethan, big time, Irwin is the champ. Rookie uh, takes the belt. Two belts belt. change Eight hands. Wins, yep. One defeat and another knockout. And, uh, yeah, rookie of the year, player of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 
and you talk about the <clears throat> ultimate deciding question, the answer being Jim Parsons. He's the star of the Big Bang Theory, and it was a <coughs> big bang here today. All six matches culminating Jeez. with a memorable one here. We see the belt change hands. I don't know if it's ever going to leave the offices of Ethan Irwin. Bob Downey Jr. is going to get to autograph it. Jude Law. By the way, the reason why this is great is because Jay will still be happy. He will be the happiest that he's been. Thanks to Ethan Irwin, but hats off, literally and figuratively, to Mr. John Roca for being such a worthy champion and holding the belt proudly like he did. It was a tough, tough match. Ethan Irwin is just that good. He has beaten a lot of legends already. Yep. Clark Wolf, Dan Merle, I mean, McWeeny, now John Roca. This guy is for real. Now, Dan Merle, who has already suffered a defeat to Ethan Irwin, gets a chance to not only avenge that loss, but he gets a chance mm. to become the three-time champion sure. if he can beat Ethan in New York. But as we saw today and the tournament, that is not an easy task. That's right. Well, going to be a very tough task, and she's been doing it <clears throat> admirably all day long. That is our own Jen Sturger. She's going to have an interview with both Ethan Irwin, the winner, and John Roca, the fallen, right now. And we are here with your new champion, <laughs> Mr. Ethan Irwin, Jay Washington. <coughs> You've got to be ecstatic. This oh, is the geez. first competitor you have championed all the way to singles. I am beyond ecstatic. I am excited. I almost ran a victory lap around the entire Don't studio. Don't hurt yourself. But I, will, <laughs> I, I, I probably died, but after two laps. <laughs> but I do personally have to give a whole lot of respect to the outlaw John Roca. You fought an immense battle, but Hogan, Fell to the giant. I am so happy for you. I am happy. Like I don't. I can't say nothing bad about Roke. I'm real nice. You know, it's been nice being here. It's nice being around Ethan. And we're going to New York, baby. Yeah, the uh, the Newark Motel Six. Here we come. It's going to be great. <laughs> Cannot wait. No, I'm super stoked. This is crazy to be able to go up against him. Man, that was insane. Ethan, let's be real. You're you're road through oh, yeah. this whole tournament has been insane. You have faced some of the biggest <laughs> names in the game. Wolf, Merle, Roca. I mean, uh, who yay. can't you take out? <laughs> so far, uh, just Mark Andreco, I guess, <laughs> has been yeah. there. But no, I, yeah. honestly, it's been it's been crazy to go up against all these people that I've been watching for uh, many years. And like, yeah, to be able to face them and to be able to come out victorious, it's, it's an incredible feeling. I have to hand it to you, Ethan. You've had such an amazing performance in stepping on the scene and been an absolute <coughs> force. You have to be in contention for Rookie of the Year. He, you damn sure do. I, I hope so. Look, I, I, Mara is, you know, pretty incredible. Was a great competitor, a great energy geekdom champion. Sad loss she had early. Very sad. But this man ran That's the difference. The Mara doesn't hold the belt anymore, and Ethan does. Great. So great. I'm not saying Ethan Jason Emmett was any Scepter Stone, Mike Kalinowski, Rachel, anybody. But Ethan Irwin did something that nobody in this league has been able to do. Nobody. And that itself should put him as the front runner for Rookie of the Year. Absolutely. Well, I guess we'll find out in January when the awards come out. Guys, I'll see you in New and York. Player, yeah. And player of the year, too. Rookie and player yeah. of the year. Think about it. Took yep. down Merle. Mm -hmm. Took down Roca. Took down Clark. These are some greats. McQueenie. He's taken down. Yeah. So I'm going to put this mm -hmm. back on this man's shoulder. Oh, well, thank you. that's where it belongs. And at least, Ethan, you don't have to campaign for yourself because Jay's going to do all the talking for you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Super yep. stoked about that, guys. <laughs> super stoked. But, you know, congratulations on a well-fought victory today and look forward to seeing you in New York. Thanks. Looking forward to it. Thank you, everybody. And I'm back with the Horseman and John Roca, your former champ. Why is your head hanging down like that? So yeah, you, I mean, you yeah, guys man. go out there and put on performance after performance. I know you're one of the most passionate players in the league. Yeah. Today is not the day to hang your head, sir. Well, uh, you know, it's a tough loss. You, you didn't know, have I, I won that belt. I wanted to take that belt into New York, come out face Dan for, like, to wrap up this trilogy of ours. It would have been fantastic, but it just wasn't my day. Ethan was focused in, had some good answers. I kind of, the sports movie kind of threw me. I mean, this, the Mighty Ducks, I, gotta, I guess I'm going to have to watch that movie at some point. So uh, <laughs> that, that might help in the future. But Ultimate read, major crush of mine. Just there you saying. go. There you go. But uh, uh, the, If only you were a 12-year-old girl, you would have gotten that <laughs> 
<laughs> fair, fair. I'm surprised there's no Remember the Titans in there, man. Yeah, well, where was that? I, I, Who could forget know? them? The yeah. thing is, I, the irony is I put sports movies <laughs> on the wheel because I really had studied <clears throat> sports movies so strongly. But for whatever reason, those two questions did not come up in I mean, any of the quizzes I studied. So. It's only a team who could yeah, actually I retain belts. I didn't remember him but... in that film. I didn't even remember that oh, film, yeah. to be honest with you. It's not a sport. Yeah, thank you. That's, I should have challenged that, and I should have asked for a, an actual sports question. That's a sports like entertainment question. Going. But that being said, uh, no, it was a good match. Ethan's a fantastic competitor. It's no shame to lose to a great competitor like that <clears> who's taken out. Match to watch. It, well, I'm glad people enjoyed it. I'm glad it people really enjoyed was. it. I want to say an uh, apology to Sam Levine for not knowing that he was Hirschberg. You know, but uh, other than that, I thought we were all right. I don't think Sam remembered his character's name. Oh my God. But he didn't write that question, by the way. Oh, don't blame him. Damn it. Don't blame him, comment section. That was all me. <laughs> Anyways. Yep. I know this has been a long season for you. It has. It really has. It's yeah. been peaks, it's been valleys, yeah. and there's been a lot of emotions involved. What's going through your head heading into next season well i shake this loss off we'll see how i feel afterwards you know um i put a lot of my heart into this thing this year and there were times i wanted to walk away from it because it does take a lot out of me but i love it too much i owe the outlaw nation too much i, sh I owe this game too much and oh my boy christian harloff too much i love this game i love it to pieces i'll probably play it till i'm dead but <laughs> looking on to next year here's the deal probably. here's the deal what do you know about me i do not stay down for too long do i i don't hang my head and fall down and stay down i get the f back up so ethan Irwin, big time enjoy new york son enjoy the belt sleep with it make love to it take it on a trip put it in the hot tub next to new york because i'm coming for it uh, i'm coming for ethan it. is Jay not going to do that but you finally will. back the winner congratulations <laughs> one out of 20 what percent is that you suck son and i'm gonna come and kick your fucking ass too so just get ready get ready enjoy it enjoy christmas give it a present nice. Jay. you know what take it out for new year's Day. <laughs> it's not gonna matter because i'm gonna take that belt off of him and i'm gonna make you cry jay i'm gonna make you cry in front of me anyway i lost the belt man i lost the belt exactly don't ever doubt the outlaw i'm coming back in 2019 even stronger than ever i knew you're gonna cut a promo on me anyways <laughs> What's next for you guys? Oh, I know you're hyped for 2019, and I can't repeat right. everything you just said. The showdown needs to What's next for you? What's next for the Horsemen? What's next oh, for yeah. Top Ten? What's next for everybody? Um, well, the Horsemen, I don't know. For me, gentlemen, I am, uh, I am saying goodbye to all of you out there. No! I am hanging up my what? proverbial hat. Oh. Yeah, you know, it's been a long time. No. And I think you guys, let's lose the dead weight. You know? Oh, no, don't the say guy, that. It's anchor. You know, what I mean? it's like when the sail goes down. It was helping before, but now it's a sea anchor, and it's just slowing you down. Ben is gonna take his like place, and Roca and Merlo are gonna be a team. Like That's all right. The passion mm -hmm. you had is what that the is, competitors in this league That is very have. possible, actually. And it's what all of you out there respond to. Man brings heat. <clears throat> brings heat every week. I was just Riley thinking, like, heat. Merle brings who's heat. Ben they all bring replace? heat. Guess what? It's time to let these flames just rise higher. Do I know what I'm saying right now? I don't, but I'd like to thank all of you out there for watching. You have no idea what it means to everybody that, that cares this much, all the people that put in the, the work behind the scenes. I will miss all of you, uh, but at the same time, please continue to support, watch, and, and help all these people grow a league that's going on the road. It's gonna do all these amazing, crazy things, and I will be on the sidelines heckling, telling Christian all the terrible things he's doing. <laughs> that's my job now, and I'm gonna look forward to it, but I'd like to thank the, the two of you, Dan, uh, Inman, all the fans out there, you guys all have been fantastic. And uh, this is my last soft shoe, so I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that happened. I lost that now. Jesus. Yeah. Um, I had feelings that he was, I had a feeling that he was kind of on the fence about it. And I, you know, Matt's got a lot on his plate right now. Top 10 still continues. That's for damn sure. Uh, but, you know, if he wants to walk away or step away from the horseman for a bit, I never made anyone join and I'm never going to make anyone stay. And so we'll see what happens with the horseman going forward. Still got Riley. I still got Danny Boy. So we'll see what we do in 2019. I'm sure there are a lot of competitors out there who want to be part of the horseman. So does this mean you're taking applications? I think I am taking applications. Huh. Well, that's a development. Thank you so much again. It's been an absolute pleasure working backstage with all of you this entire season. Thank you so much to Mark and Christian for giving me this opportunity to work with all these amazing people. I hope you guys have enjoyed Spectacular. Thank you for letting me be a part of it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go cry now because apparently that's what I do. All right. She's Back the best. Give her love. She's I'll, the I'll, best. I'll, I'll join you, Jen. We'll I'll you join you. That's right. It's been an honor, Jen. It's been an honor. Right. It's been a true oh, honor. Thank you. She was Back to you guys. She was great. She was. All right, as we get back here to 
obviously John Roca, heartbroken. And then what about the announcement here, too? And, it, you know, it kind of couples on. Matt No stepping down from the movie trivia showdown and letting his friend know from a long time that there is no more top 10. The, the, that team is done. So it looks like the Founding Fathers the founding will fathers. be a team going forward here. Yep. John Roca, though, bummed, focus on uh, just trying to get back on the <clears> horse. <throat> he just doesn't just you know, ready to go tell for the belt bummed, again. But Ethan Irwin, excited, wanted the championship, and now he's exactly. focused on New York. He likes to play the game. He wants to play the game, and now he's the champion defending in New York. It's a hell of a season. The spotlight didn't intimidate him. And just for us on this side of the ledger who have to deal with the bottom line of dollars and cents here at the Schmodown, Ethan Irwin has plenty of frequent flyer miles that he can use to get himself a ticket to New York. We don't have to worry about that expenditure, buddy. But in all seriousness, John Roca, we thought we'd see history made today. We did not expect to see history sealed between him and Matt Nos, but great players of the game great friends they will always be and john roca what does the future hold for him well we're not sure hell we don't know what's going to happen about a whole lot next season but we do know that season six is going to be bigger and better than anything you've ever seen yet and until then we get to enjoy some holiday tidings and before we go any further here i would like everybody in our studio what a great crowd we've had today give our crew a big hearty round of applause just working their tails off all day here today and I've been, I've been teasing it. I've been telling, I've been telling everybody. I've been letting everybody know that there are huge plans right. for season six. That there are new things for season six coming. And I sat down in the Collider Live podcast studio to have a conversation with you all. And I, this is going to be a nice message to really detail everything that's happening next season. Here you go. Well, thank you, okay. me, and thank you, Mark Ellis. And thank you guys out there for a wonderful, wonderful season so far. I mean, it's been absolutely incredible. What a spectacular, a new champion, two new champions, defending champions. I mean, it was just an amazing event all the way around. And thank you to everyone that made that work. Thank you to the amazing crew that made it work. And that's really where this announcement starts to go in. Because I think sometimes when people watch videos and they see uh, on YouTube, which is they're so used to seeing things, they don't realize how much goes into it and how much this particular event. This was over three videos, a lot of hours of work, um, and a lot of people coming in on a Saturday to make sure that this content went up. And as you guys may or may not have known, this has been funded by myself and Mark here, the Schmodown, through yep. mm -hmm. Patreon this year. The, now, the deal was last year, last season, that myself and Mark would fund the <coughs> Schmodown if we, you know, we, we were going to put it on Collider. Collider would provide the studio, would provide the workers, and we would have to provide the rest. We would have to pay for everything else, and that went into a lot of different things. Now, here's the big part of the announcement. I'm going to start off big to let everybody know. This spectacular this video this match will be the last match that airs on collider video we will be moving the show off of collider Ooh. video and it is returning to the schmoes no youtube channel oh. i cannot thank mark fernandez that? and collider okay. enough for helping bring this show to everyone uh -huh. saturdays now will be when we shoot when we shoot these matches it's a good thing because we have time from nine to six o'clock now to shoot these matches However, what it also means is now I'm renting the Collider Studio and paying for the workers. So it's a big risk. The expenses go up tremendously. And what does that mean? So here, here's what I'm going to let you know. The first thing I want to ask you to start off with Patreon. And what does Patreon mean to Schmodown? And how important is it if you're not familiar with it? If you think that this event that you just watched is spectacular or the countless amount of matches that we've done for you so far this year, if you think those are worth... $12 for the entire year, a dollar a month. If all of you guys out there who are watching this video right now decided that this show was worth a <clears> dollar <throat> a month, we'd be doing this show for a very long time. Definitely is. It's that simple. Absolutely. There's writers. There's, <coughs> there's all the competitors. There's stuff we need to do for the studio. Now there's rent. Now there's someone to run the Patreon. Then there's live events, and we'll get to that in a second. So mm. with the rent situation and being and now going and being risky to rent a studio, it's a big cost, especially in Hollywood. It's a big cost, and it's a risk, like I said. But we believe in order to make it grow, we need to do that. So how do we offset it? 
So here's what's going to happen. Now, there's going to be some people who understand. There's going to be some people who don't. And we understand that, but this is how it's going to go down. The Singles Division will air every Friday on the Schmoes No Channel, 2 p.m. You can see the Singles Division. It'll be there every Friday. Okay. Inside Schmodown with Ken Knapsack will be returning, and it will air a day early for the patrons at the dollar tier and up. And then it will air question. on Schmoes No a day later. Okay. We don't know exactly what day yet, but okay. that will be coming back. Teams and the Inner Geekdom Division oh. will be on Patreon. They will air on Tuesday for the two dollar tier and up, and then they will air on Wednesday for now I have the to be on Patreon. <laughs> However, all of the audio for the teams and the Inner Geekdom and the singles will be available to oh. everyone. So if you decide I just don't want to be a patron. I just don't want to do it. You can listen to them in your car. You can listen to them. No, I will They'll be. all be available, and mm -hmm. we'll have that link for you guys once the new season begins. So once again, singles on Friday. Inner Geekdom and Teams will air on Tuesday for the $2 patrons, Wednesday for the dollar patrons. There's a lot left. Exhibition matches. Right now, if you are part of the $10 tier, you get the exhibition matches right away when they drop. Two weeks later, dollar tier and up will get them. Player commentaries and early matches. Is they will also be available at that $5 tier, the, the early matches and player mm. commentaries. January exhibition match, get ready for this. This is the $10 tier and up. And then again, two weeks later, dollar. The Schmoes will be coming out of retirement for exhibition to be facing, one time only, reuniting the Patriots. The Schmoes versus yes! the an exhibition match. Yes! The January match. That we need this. At the $10 tier okay. and up. All right. Ten dollars is a stretch. Really I cannot afford that, we but I'll wait two weeks. <laughs> we sold it out in three days, and people Ooh. really want the live events, and we are trying something really big next season. We're going to attempt to live stream the New York event. That's right. We're going to live oh, stream wow. the mm. New York event, and here's how you can get it. If you're already at the $10 tier, you're going to get it. You'll get the live event for that night. If you're not a patron, you, you just, just want the live stream for that card. night, you cool. can watch it for two ninety nine the night of. You don't have to be a patron. That night, you can watch Dan Merle and the new champion, Ethan Irwin, go at it in the main event, Chance Ellison and Janine on the other <clears> card there. The plan is for us to start streaming a lot. So we're starting with the live events. This is, we're, this is kind of like the guinea pig to see if it works. So that's why we're just going to give it to the $10 patrons right away. So the plan for the live events in general, we are going to – in New York is the live event – in January. In February, we're going to debut a brand new show. It's called the Schmodown Throwdown. It's going to be two matches. There's going to be post credit scenes, the end scenes, a full on show. Think about it as our SmackDown, if you will. It's going to debut in February. We will also be able to live stream that one. If the New York live stream goes well, February will see the creation of the $11 tier. Now, here's what's on the $11 tier once February begins. This will be the live stream tier, and at this tier, you will get every live stream that we do. So if we do a throwdown and a live event in the same in the same month, you get them both. If we do a special live stream event, you get them both. If we do three live streams in the same month, you get them all. If you don't want to be part of Patreon, it'll be available at the $2.99 for a one-time purchase. Now, live events. Here is the goal. Once again, January will be New York. February is the throwdown. March is going to be big. We are aiming for March in L.A. to do the free-for-all at a live mm -hmm. event. That oh. is wow. April, we're looking to come to Chicago. We're aiming at San Diego Comic-Con. <clears throat> we're aiming at Orlando. We're aiming at New York again. So this are the plan. Those are the goals. That's the plan. If the live stream is successful, it so will lot. shape the future mm -hmm. of the league. And I wanted to let you know the initial plan and let you all know exactly what was going on and how it was going to happen. So once again, this is why I tell you, I, I get it. When you're watching YouTube videos and you're just used to it, it's like, oh, you know, I just now, now wait, now it's a dollar. Why, why is it a dollar? This is a full-fledged show. It's not just me and Ellis sitting in front of a Rocky poster anymore. We're trying mm -hmm. to build a show. True. We're trying to build new competitors, new shows. Mm -hmm. New dollars to get doable. To come see you. You want us to come Absolutely. to Australia, to England. This is how we shape it. Hey. The live hey. Hey. The dollar patron. The $2 patron. I'm telling you once again, if everybody who is watching this right now just signed up for that dollar, we're set for a very long time. So thank you once again. Thanks for joining this, this spectacular 
All this stuff will be made clear again. Check out the TriviaSD.com. I'll have a whole post on exactly how next season is going to work. But thank you again to Collider for providing everything that they did. Schmoes No, go subscribe to the Schmoes No channel now. Question is reactions. The home of the Schmodown will live. Yeah. What's how to do that? I am going to have to talk to him. Thanks again to Mark Fernandez. Yeah, we will. Well, you can react to singles, definitely. Back to yes. Mark. All right, Mark, so like I said in the video, just to reiterate, as you saw those stuff, next season, I'd like to thank Collider for everything that they have done yeah. so far for the movie trivia Schmodown. Next season, the singles division will live on the Schmoes No channel. It will be there. We will be taping from these studios. As I said inside of that entire video, there's more there. Go back and mm -hmm. listen to mm -hmm. it. A lot of things to happen. The streaming, mm -hmm. the okay. movie trivia Schmodown throwdown, That's all okay. of it. It's all in that, and we can't wait to see. And we really, like I said mm -hmm. in the video, it's on it's really because of you guys it's really everything that you guys have done and been able to support us that is how we make this work so thank you to our patrons if you like i said in that video if you enjoyed this if you think that it was worth it go on over to next season help us get this thing bigger and better all the competitors here all the crew everybody that puts their heart and soul for the hardcore fans we're going to do bigger and better things next season and we want you guys to come along on the ride with us yeah you know it started on the road when we were both in alaska one of the earliest forays in schmoes no history and now ah. 2019 appears to see <laughs> mark ellis and christian harloff as the schmoes no back on the road once again partner it's been a hell of a ride thus far i look forward to us gassing up the old toyota prius and driving to new york city <laughs> all right for everybody here for you guys, for the champions, for the new champions, for the former champions, for everybody next season. Once again, you want to see Merle versus Irwin for the title in New York? Well, you oh. can come see it. SchmodownLive.com. Get the tickets <coughs> now before we are sold out. It is only a month away. January. That's right. That's when it's all going to take place. Thank you to everyone once again. I don't know if Finstock will ever find his mask. I don't care. So, guys... <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. From Mark Ellis, Christian Harloff, and the whole damn crew, Schmodown Spectacular 3 was everything we could have hoped for, and it was all because of you. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next time. And Thank you. Thank you, guys, yes. for everything. Jesus. Something Absolutely. Ever? There is something else at is the there? end. Oh. oh. The mask. Oh. oh. Hold on a second. Whoa, what? <laughs> ah! oh! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, I think this is like a real. Ah. Yeah, I just picked okay. it. Okay, yeah. All right, guys. Wow. <sighs> Jesus. That was a spectacular, spectacular. spectacular. <laughs> Holy to, crap. To quote Moulin Rouge, yeah. Yeah, indeed. Uh, I just want to say thank you, everyone at Collider, the competitors, the editors, the writers, what a phenomenal fucking job. This was amazing. Really. I loved it. Um, I loved almost all the matches so much. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Wow. That was awesome. I'm, uh, like, it, even if I was wrong about a couple of predictions, I'm not really mad no. at it. Uh, no. Everyone who's a champion deserves it. Uh, everyone who won their match, I think, deserves it. What a match. Uh, Chris, what are your final thoughts? <laughs> I mean, to cut the crap, uh, <laughs> like, holy shit. Like, this is... Okay, it's hard to top last year's Spectacular just because I was there in person. But yeah. out of <laughs> but out of the final product of all three Spectaculars, this might almost be my favorite. This might actually, you know what, screw it. This, is, this probably is my favorite. Even, even, this though, is the best. <laughs> even though this is the one that ripped my heart out the most because <laughs> now I don't now I don't have a, a favorite team to hate anymore now I don't have uh you know a well okay 
I have an Air Geekdom champion I can uh, despise, but he's not pulling strings anymore, so that's good. <laughs> and my favorite active team is now split up. Oh, I'm I'm hurting. I'm in pain as a fan, but that's okay. I will survive. I will live, move on. Ah, no, <laughs> why? Sorry, but no, seriously, like holy shit, everybody, cops are Cody, A uh, not Aaron, um, Adam, Adam Smith, you know, everybody on the Collider crew. Pat yourselves on the back for a job well done. Christian, Mark, you guys have done a great job with this season, and you are going to kick even more ass with the next season. Roca, my God, if you're not going to be the first three-time champion, I don't know who will. Because to, <laughs> be to be honest, I can already, I'm calling it right now. I think Irwin's going to defend at New York, so. Probably. I hate, Probably. I, I hate to say it, but... This was a great... This was a great... Uh, a great three videos, and... Next season is only gonna get better. Yep. It's only gonna yeah. get, it's only gonna get crazier, and I'm ready for the ride. Yes, uh, Irina, your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, well, we're all getting on the ride. I mean, Chris Chris was on the ride, and now we're we're, we're going to <laughs> we're gonna be there. Uh, I had thoughts, and I forgot everything because yeah. it was just so overwhelming. Uh, I is. agree with the fact that. Uh, the point that our hearts got ripped out for us mm. it was action. Mm. What happened? No, no, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> um, but uh, it, it was amazing. Editing was so great. Wow. Just the quality of the of the whole production is off the charts. So yes, thank you for that. And it was a spectacular, spectacular, as you said. It yes. definitely was. Yeah, uh, I loved it. I loved all of it. I already said my thoughts. So, guys, uh, we're going to just go into uh, the plugs. Please like our videos, uh, all three of them. Uh, like, I didn't say it at the end of the other ones, but uh, just go we, back. We, just we, quickly, we, we quickly. may have been a little tipsy, as to, and that might be explain why. We, yeah, that's true. Uh, leave a comment on how drunk we were uh, or how hungover we were. <laughs> Uh, or anything else that you saw in those videos. And if you haven't already, of course, please subscribe to the channel. Um, Chris, plugs. You guys can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Stardust, at Skywalker Dormer. And you guys can follow this very channel on Twitter and Instagram, at D2A Channel. Please like our Facebook page, and you can follow my band, Silver Nightfall, all across social media, at Silver Nightfall. Indeed. Uh, Irina, do you have plugs? No, I don't. <laughs> she doesn't have plugs. Uh, Irina Muha on Facebook and Twitter, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so... With that said, uh, you can follow me at Dutch Movie Guy on Twitter, Case Cornelius on Facebook, of course. And uh, what a great spectacular. Guys, uh, we will see you in 2019. Yes. Or maybe um, maybe, maybe next week uh, somewhere for a live show. I'm not sure yet. Uh, we'll have to figure that one out. Um, we'll see. As I said, I'm, we'll have to see. Uh, with that said, guys, uh, happy holidays to everyone. Yes. yes. And take care.